I feel that I was not terribly late, but illustrious, can you notice something about what just happened on stream when you did that? Did you see the thing? Did you? Yes, last night I did the thing. So better, uh, better Twitch TV emotes will now show up on stream. Yep, it was uh, it was it was not a insignificantly uh, tricky thing to do. There were a few pieces to it, and the way that they do it, I think, is fundamentally bad. But uh, but you know, I. Uh, I can't I can't complain too much because it was uh, it was pretty straightforward. They they keep it pretty easy. Hey Alex, welcome on in. And it works on YouTube too. So so both YouTube and Twitch have it. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate it. Uh, I don't know about right, there's like three things that they uh, they generate with uh or there's like three services for more emotes. And Better Twitch TV does all three of them or something like that. But I have only done, uh, I think, the Better Twitch TV ones. This is that. There we go. Let me just put this down here. All right. Yeah, like there's like Franker's TV. Is that another one or something like that? But anyways, as per usual, I digress. Let's... Uh, Let's get back on to the festivities. Many questions of whether we are finishing Baldur's Gate today. I, uh, I simply don't know the answer to that question. I do not know how much more there is to do. Well, I mean, I, I know based on the quest journal. Feeling good, feeling good. Yeah, productive, uh, productive night. And uh, I do need to fix the, the game voting. The game voting has been broken for a couple of days. So I need to figure out what's going on with that. Some people have recommended games, and uh, and they are not getting. Whoa, they are not getting uh, ingested properly. All right. Well, we have we have left the the Casador gymnasium behind us, and uh, what was this? Oh, that's the way we initially came in. Looks like the Gur have already left. Uh, so they're they're out of here, but by purely walking and standing, that's that's some next level shenanigans. I'll I'll give it to you. That's kind of ridiculous. All right, we are back. The stream may see the end of Baldur's Gate Three. Our list of things is pretty short. We need Orin's Netherstone. We gotta confront the Elder Brain, uh, which the plan I think right now is I'm leaning towards destroy. I think we are going to free Orpheus and betray the Emperor, and uh, these will get sorted out as we do that. So, with that being said, our first stop I think is the Temple of Baal, where we should be greeted as a hero, because we are a legendary assassin as it were. But I think this is uh, this is what's next on the menu for us. Whoa, did, have I been all the way up there? Yeah, I think so. We haven't been here in a long time. We kind of did the whole sewer on our own. It's this stream or next one. All right. The the short answer is we are close. So lovely of them to uh, to add traps along the way. Yeah, so I I I am thinking we're kind of like we're kind of out of subquests now. I'm gonna be swapping the shield in and out because uh, we had we were whoops because we had. Uh, we had this shield on for perception reasons, but I wanted to start using the, the shield of the Undevout for combat situations. So that'll be a fun little bit of micro. We I may give up on it pretty quickly.
still alive, so that's progress. Let's see, we've been down here. That was the other, the other entrance. Oh, hold on. Well, okay, we're still finding those traps, so maybe we just find the rest. What a day! What a day! Oh, Asterion is wearing. Uh, Asterion's weapons are a little funky. Hold on a second. Yeah, Club of Hill Giant Strength is currently on. We want advantage on our stealth checks. That's a that's a better decision. What now? Do you have the shield with four AC or is it? Uh, there are so many four AC shields. There's like a million of them. Uh, but I liked I liked this one because it gives us advantage or it gives our enemies disadvantage on fear saving throws, and fear is a pretty dominant spell for being an, at a level three tier. So, so I, I think it might be an interesting one to uh, to grab. Although, it's possible the ballists are all going to be immune to uh, to fear, but that's a, that's a different story. What a, there's like, are there like skulls falling from the ceiling? It's weird. As we're walking, like every once in a while, there's like a thud. But. Still breathing, despite everything. All right, I guess, I guess we have arrived. Stone seals this chamber against the world. The Baal amulet trembles in frightened awe. Uh, religion check. Utter a quick prayer to Ball. Press the amulet against the door. Let's go with uh, let's go with religion first and examine the door. Doesn't seem like like what could possibly go wrong. I do love it when the game answers my question for me. You do not discover truth in these symbols. You see only death. Okay. Well, let's let's press the amulet against the door. That's our secret uh our secret weapon. Will you return once you cross this threshold? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh wow. Okay. So this is a short one, it appears, cuz there's Halson and there's Orin. So I guess we're just wandering in. <laughs> we're we're not hostile at the moment. I expected a temple to murder would be more fun. A little joyous even. There's no greater Oh darkness and anger. Gripping the skull and hammer. Yeah, I expected this to be a bit of a dungeon dive. I don't know if everything is up front, but I mean, it could be. I've heard that. Shh. Silence is good. No screaming, no crying, no pleading, no air escapes. When I squeeze, I make sure they're quiet. I made them all quiet now. It's certainly creepy. So this is blood. We can walk in blood. That's not a big deal. Oh, wedding. Two copies of wedding vows. Stiv. I called you to elope. I meant for us to be together eternally uh, in the only way faith allows. This dagger, the sacred mark of my lord, is our witness, priest, the officiant. 
With it, I die by your side, and you by mine. Offer up your belly of flesh that I may rend it. Okay, so we got like a Romeo and Juliet type of thing going on with these two. Okay, the other half of the wedding vows. Mashamu. Uh, you love your secrets, and I'm still not sure why you wouldn't let us wed in Ill Matters Temple. But, oh, my glimmering ruby garnet, I have loved every wild night and day with you. Here's to decades more and lots of bounding stivlets and mashlings. Uh, oh, okay. That's what happens when you, uh, when you marry a ballist, I guess. Okay, so we've talked to these three. Dying Stone Lord Thug? Okay, what do we got here? Truly, Sarabok, purged at last. I do not see why the Dread Lord kept such a fossil around so long. Yep, I did that. <sighs> a stranger. Delectable. <laughs> yes. I wonder, how would your flesh feel slithering down my gullet? Succulent. Okay, I mean, we're allowed to go loot this guy, it appears. It says dying, but this dude is extremely dead. Okay, we got an unholy assassin here. Does look like... Does look like there is a spot up here. That we can get to. I hope we don't trigger anything by flying over here, but I'm curious. Oh. Well, what was the... Rescue Orin's victim. We found Orin's victim tied to the altar. We should be careful as we approach. We were anointed unholy assassin of the murder trial. Okay. So, yeah. So, we have found Halson. He's currently knocked out with Orin standing over them. Okay. Hey, Sam. Well, come on in. Vulnerable, violent. Baal would savor such destruction. Okay, so it looks like there's nothing going on up here. Okay, so we can walk down and talk to Orin. But we will we'll head up this way and we'll just we'll check the other side first. It certainly seems like there's going to be a room full of people pissed off if we kill Orin. I believe Orin first made an incision in the upper left. Ah. I must disagree. Orin's first cut was quite clearly the throat. But was she not toying with the victim? Why begin with a death blow? A proper... Welcome. Unholy assassin. Thank you. Please, step closer. Take a look. We have much to learn from Orin's techniques. So you too passed Saravok's tribunal. Killing him was an inspired choice. I wish I'd thought of that. So this was the journalist that Orin took the, the form of. And she apparently had a pork loin on her. Go figure. A lending library. Borrowed scrolls must be returned within a ten day. It seems the Temple to Murder has a lending library. Oh, interesting and lustrous. A Ecstasy of Murder. Two copies. Okay. That, that makes sense. There, uh, I do remember that 
Uh, at some point, there was a... I, I read somewhere that there's like one of these people here who has a unique drop, and you need to kill them before you kill Orin to get that drop. But I don't remember which one it was, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Oh, this continues down. That's interesting. So we... We may... Oh. Oh, that's where Orin sleeps. Got it. Okay. So we could sneak into Orin's bedroom ahead of schedule if we wanted to. Um. Nah. Let's, uh... Let's get this party started. Okay, we do we have disintegrate on currently. We spent our only level six spell slot on that, which I'm not thrilled about. But Alright, let's go let's go save Halson, I hope. wearing Gortash's gauntlets you now. You knew the murder lord could not be denied his meat. <sighs> that Saravok's crimson was not yours to spill. He was mine. You had no right to take him. Hmm. Oh, did it think it could protect? Did it think it could save? Only the blades can offer salvation. All right, you said Ball wanted uh, us to fight. Uh, he will reject this offering. Or, I did what you asked, I killed Gortash, so let him go. Uh, his fate is of no interest to me. We're going to try this persuasion check. I think we, we're going to try and save him. We may have to swap to combat immediately to stop him, but let's try it. So, said Ball wanted us to fight. He will reject this offering. Give me that guidance. That should do it. You do not lie, underling. It is your blood I am destined to spill. Your death spit will stain these walls, little lamb. Murder should have been exquisite. A crypt born effigy to greet Ball's bleeding dawn. And now it will be nothing. Come to me, Father. Set my flesh to your unholy purpose. Pretty cool. Okay. So, legendary, uh, legendary res res resistance to incapacitation. Stunned, restrained, polymorph, charmed, dominated. Okay. Also, the boon of ball exists on the map. Don't know what that means. Okay, so the Unholy Assassins out here are not aggro right now. So she's in Slayer form. Affected entity has embraced its savage compulsions. Allow it to assume its Slayer, allowing it to assume its Slayer form. So she's gonna go first. I could probably proc uh, Bloodlust off of these guys pretty easily. Cannot harm because of Sanctuary. Ah, so the, the little guys we can't harm because of Sanctuary. We'll probably get this, this thing dead. Let's, uh... 
Let's do that, and then I think... Oh, what about this guy back here? He's 72, and we have shots on him. So I think he's our more likely person to kill right off. And I will... Let's open with a multi... a multi-arrow. You got two? Not great. Let's see, you're at night. You're unstoppable for another two. She's unstoppable for another 11. So, probably not going to be easy to get the kill on her. I'm going to at least get a few hits off on, on this one, I think. Might as well do that, I think. Ah, we can hit these ones back here with AoEs. That's good to know. But sadly, that's all for Asterion. Daggers. All right. Okay. So. So okay. So we have we have potentially a big turn here. Let's start out with start out with a black hole. I wanted to see how many of these we could yank. Looks like the sanctuary targets we can hit. So let's start with that. Now, my, my thought is to, to try out our new... Did I swap back our fear shield? I did. No opportunity attacks from... From Orin, from the looks of it, is interesting. Okay. That seems like a, a good start to things. Oh, we just added a an assassin from the other side, from the looks of it. But we'll figure it out. Now, I think... You can't quite make it as far as I want you to. But let's, uh... Let's get some Spirit Guardians going. And then let's see if we can... Do this. That'll that'll do a bit of crowd control, I think. Victory awaits. Orin still has a bunch of unstoppable. So possibly not worth. We might as well hit her as much as we can. We probably should have done a short rest, but Lazelle missing. Absolutely classic. Sometimes the only way out is through. Now, I wish we had been able to get a... Oh, yeah, Sam? Miss Zell. All right, well, we tried We tried our best here. All right, we, the boon of ball. Unstoppable Orin. So are these guys still sanctuaried? They are. Back to 12 unstoppable. Is is there something we... Do we need to do something with the... Do we need to shoot this? Can we shoot this?
Yeah, Ball is marking you. If a marked character character doesn't kill someone during this round, he instantly dies. Oh wait. Oh, so there's a. Is that? Wait, where? I don't see a. I don't see a mark currently. I'm. I'm just worried about the fact that Orin has twelve unstoppable. That's going to be like a lot of work. Oh, that's during honor mode. Okay, yeah, that would be. That would make a big difference. So we can't kill any of these guys. We probably get a kill for firing a multi-hit arrow into this crew. So maybe we try that out. Okay, it did not hit any of the ones that I wanted it to hit. Um... Well, I don't have a fireball on on Asterion, obviously. But that's why I did the black hole. But I don't think I don't think I can do much on Asterion right now. This is awfully well lit. Can't run all the way back there. Yeah, yeah, Shadowheart will do some work, for sure. All right, so I guess I will do this, and then... Who'd I put... Who'd I put Hunter's Mark on? Yeah, someone I should not have put Hunter's Mark on, for sure. This could be Potion of Speed time. Let's let's do it. Let's see if we get a kill, because we'll get an extra, extra attack if we do that. Yeah, we did we did get a free action, which is good. Oh, the miss was just not what I needed in my life. Also, where did, uh, where did Izip go? <laughs> All right, well, that's a concern. Well, definitely still standing there. Opportunity attack to lock you in place. So let's see. So we need three more unstoppable here. I think I'm going to start out with Shadowheart and like cheat her over a little bit this way to get some unstoppable charges done. Then make sure that these two get got and then try and get you. Then we, we still have some work to do. One hit point feels bad, man. We do love spirit. Uh, Spirit Guardian. So I think I'm gonna... So let's see, what do we have for AoEs currently on the table over here? We have Glyph of Warding. Which we just don't want to hit Helsin with it, but we can... Let's walk Lazel around this way for the moment. And then I think... Can I make you... Okay, you are invisible. I am unsure why. Does Shatter, does Shatter get, Shatter doesn't have the radius, so we'll do it this way. Okay. And then might as well hit you, hopefully. Okay, no, no hit. Uh, so... Unfortunately, I don't think we can get multiple targets right now. I'm planning on sanctuarying Isa, at least for the moment. Okay, you're technically... You technically aren't sanctuaried. So we could probably use our primary action just to get you sorted. 
Although, the close proximity is making that a little hard. I could also, like, insect plague over here just to get these guys going. That doesn't seem like a bad idea. Okay, that did break our concentration on Spirit Guardian, which was probably not ideal. But... Hold on, I want to see something. I should have thought of this before, like done a short rest, but do we have... Fall into a two-turn slumber. Two turns slumber. Okay, I don't want to do any slumbering. I was going to try and get our, our action surge back, but I think... I think we just do that, and then... Go to town on this fool. Oh, Lazel, my sweet summer child. Okay, did Orin get less unstoppable because we killed some folks? No. Grumble, grumble. Alright, good hits. Good hits. He's roasted. Boom, you're almost roasted. We got the extra action, which is good. Also, wait, did Orin take full damage there? Orin hasn't done a lot, if I'm being honest. Uh, let's see. So, Asterion, many targets. Orin was hit for 27 damage, despite Unstoppable. So, there's something that gets around Unstoppable, because we just did, like, 50 damage. Is Does Unstoppable not stop crits? Reduce the next damage taken by an entity to one and consumes one charge of unstoppable. Unstoppable creatures cannot be moved by external forces or mundane magic. Okay, so I don't know why that worked that way, but... Oh my gosh. I... Oops. Oops. I, I didn't get the second target of many... Uh... The second many, uh, many targets target. Also, I'm a little worried that we're invisible, but... Let's see. Let's move over like this. Oh my gosh, Lazel! Why? Okay, everybody's done. It's only unstoppable five now. Oh, not everybody is done. Okay, so we need an AoE for you again. We don't really have an AoE for you again. It does seem like as the as the ball Reapers of Ball got killed, Orin's unstoppable has been reducing. That was probably obvious, but... One more Spirit Guardians for the road. Oh, we're invisible now, too. Two hit points. The, the break points have not been kind to us. All right, let's see. So... Well, so much for peace. Yeah, I agree, Doppel. I, I do agree. It's like I could I could do this. I end up hitting Shadow Heart. She can take it. And that gets Lazel a little closer to to putting in the work. Still breathing. 
And then let's see if we can get one more unstoppable off. Critical miss. My favorite, my second favorite kind of miss. All right, we, we ran out just in time. I don't think we have anything left. I guess I will, I'll hit us with, hit us with a little bit of a, a little bit of a heal, make sure everybody's okay. okay. Bless won't hurt either, but just, just shy. 33 damage to go. Get a sneak attack, hopefully. Okay. A metallic tan fills the air as the slayer's form is drained of life. Ashes to ashes, blood to blood, you have robbed another god of his chosen. It's kind of like our thing. All right. Oh, just kidding. That was a very, uh, that was a slightly underwhelming fight, I will say. The Gortash gauntlets are a nice touch, picking up the stone. So, we have the final stone. I need to see it for myself. Collector of chosen ones, nice. There it is. So innocent. have done very well indeed. The Nether Stones pulse with psionic energy, permeating you, pulling you in line with their rhythm. The thrum quickens, rising, cresting on a single feeling. A location. A morphic pool beneath the city itself. So that's where the Chosen imprisoned the brain. Why would they put it there? Uh, do you think they're ready to face? We're ready to face the Elder Brain. We should go back to the Undercity docks, or I'm not ready. Why would they put it there? To conceal it, one would imagine, and to maintain the illusion that they're on control above ground. Uh, let's see. Uh, do you think we're ready to face the Elder Brain? With the stones in hand and the chosen dead, we stand as good a chance as we ever will. As to how good a chance that is, I cannot say, but I have hope. So, I didn't know this was going to happen. So this is, this is tricky for me. I'm going to hit us with a quick save. So I still want to free Orpheus. But I guess we should go back to the Undercity docks. When we reach the pool, we will find the brain and we will end this. In death, thraldom, or freedom. But a word of caution. Once we cross into the Elder Brain's domain, there will be no turning back. Finish your business here before you proceed. The brain will be waiting for us. Yes, I need to I need to follow you through that portal and free Orpheus. All right. Oh, Orin's gore pile. Definitely going to be taking that with me. So what do what do we have here? So we have the mutilated carapace, formless slaughter. You gain plus 1 attack and damage rolls while shapeshifted or disguised. Ooh. That's interesting. We have advantage on deception checks and persuasion checks. That's, that's kind of interesting. It also said studded leather armor. The Crimson Mischief. Uh, prey on the weak. This weapon deals additional piercing damage against targets with 50% of their HP or fewer. And Red Vein Savagery. When you make an attack again with advantage, target takes an additional seven piercing damage. Ooh, okay, that's, that's good because it doesn't uh, offhand only. Uh, when you make a weapon attack with your offhand weapon, you can add your ability modifier to the damage. So we send this over here. The first version of this, the main hand version, the Red Vein Savagery. When you make an attack with advantage, so this doesn't say with this weapon. 
So I think we may be able to do this. Have Chris Crimson Mischief as the primary and Knife of the Undermountain as the secondary. I think that works. Uh, Lazel, I need you. I need to take this pile of gore with me. Oh no, we can't take the pile of gore with us. All right. My day is ruined. More for me. Halson's gonna hang out there for a minute. Then we'll uh, then we'll save him. But not before uh, not before I just kind of make sure to clean up the mess that we have created. I find it surprising that it seems like everyone else out here is just kind of chilling. We we did not anger the rest of uh, the rest of the room, but I guess cultists of Ball are pretty uh, desensitized things. Oh, we also have bloodthirst. So let's see, this has true strike, uh, improved critical. The number you need to roll a critical while attacking is reduced by one, effect can stack. Uh, creatures with this weapon receive vulnerability to, wait, creatures hit with this weapon receive vulnerability to piercing. And then uh, offhand, true strike repost. When a creature misses you with a melee attack, you may retaliate and gain true strike. Interesting. Is it better than knife of the under mountain? Let's switch these for a second, just so I can see these side by side. Mm, I think Knife of the Undermountain is slightly better. Since the offhand isn't doing much for us. And we're not actually stabbing with this, so I, I don't think it actually does much for us. Send this over to Shadowheart. Shadowheart is the holder of all of our stuff. Okay, one more knife. Oops. All right, let's make sure. With pleasure. There, the loot goblin is in us all in Lustrous. What? What is this foul place? Looking ahead. We saved you, Halson. Oh, you came for me. Of course I did. Thank you. I took my sweet time, though. I feared Orin's accursed smile would be the very last sight I beheld. Every breath in this place reeks of corruption. I will return to camp. The air is cleaner there. Obviously. Have a good one, Halson. That's not the way to camp. He's definitely walking down deeper and deeper. What okay, well, you know, teach their own. Have a, have a great life, Helson. Okay, so we've done that. The folks up here are not aggro, which is amazing, I feel like. But we're, let's head down here and see what Orin's bedroom looked like. I can only assume there's going to be posters of boy bands on the wall. These, these guys... Uh... And if you ever needed throwing daggers, this is the... This is the spot. Bones. Free. No more. Slay. Liberators. Saviors. Pawns. Cubes. Fools. Release. Okay. Thanks for the thanks for the intel. Okay, let's see what uh let's see what's going on in Orin's uh Orin's bedroom here. Seems like uh oh, who are you? Orin's mother Helena. How curious. Oh, we got a manifesto to read. Might be useful. This is my lucky day. I love a good manifesto.
Oh yeah, she's dead. Oh yeah, this is this is not a very nice contraption she's in, is it? What's inside? For a second I thought she was still alive. Uh let's see. Okay, so we got concerning or in the red to read. We got manifesto to read. This can all go to camp. This can all go to camp. Let's speak with Dead on on Orin's mommy. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Oh, so we probably could have come down here and talked to this lady first. Uh, 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 what? Let's see. Who are you? Helena. Antiv, daughter of Saravok, mother of Orin. Daughter of Saravok, mother of Orfin, or, or of uh, or of Orin. Okay. Uh, why did you try to kill your own daughter? Uh, what happened? To Orin, you? my daughter. I tried to kill her. He killed me first. Okay, uh, why did you try to kill your own daughter? I wanted to be both chosen. Saravok told me she must be my offering. Oh, that's a cool I detail, Sam. Close. Uh, did Orin know that Saravok ordered you to kill her? No. She worshipped him. Loved him. So did I. Where are you from? Baldur's Gate. Brandon District. The most important the detail. power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Okay. So the this, this fallen ball spawn is is the dirge character. That's a cool detail. So there's a whole bunch of people dead down here. I'm super curious if we had walked around Orin, if we would have found Orin relished tormenting this poor soul. I wonder if we would have found these people still alive or if they died after. A plan for chaos. Got to try out the bed, see if it's comfy. Decent. Decent. Okay, we got some more toxins for Sterian. Whoops. Oh no. What have I done? I've, I've mixed up my bag of hands with my other pouch. Uh-oh. I don't think we need the bag of hands anymore. Send that over to Shadowheart. Blood of the Unworthy. A skull of some sort. Then we have Kurr, who appears to be a fiend, and experiments on them. Again, again, this praise poxing creature comes back to me. It will not leave me be. I will make something beautiful of it, an effigy. Okay. Only the best loot. All right, concerning Orin the Red. Uh, you kill beautifully. Uh, but you do not understand Lord Ball. Perhaps it is uh, a failing of your diluted blood as a mere grandchild. I am his sole living pure blood. I will accept no challenge from you until you show some damn respect. This has got to be Saravok talking to her. Then we have the manifesto. Hey, Jeff. Uh, so I, I saw someone uh, post in my Discord that... Uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 has a fast travel uh, uh, paid DLC. 
which which kind of scared me off. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what you've heard. I Orin the Red, called by the Red Shaler, daughter of Helena, granddaughter of Saravok and Chev, do vow in the name of Baal, my lord, to murder to serve in his unholy will. Baldur's Gate shall repaid a thousandfold. Ah, uh, okay. It does seem like a bit of a, a bit of a yikes move, but I, I don't know if it's entirely true. All all I saw was like a Reddit post with a. Uh, with the with the the betrayal claimed all right and we already we already read this one so let's see so what uh what are we what are we doing here so we whoops we got we rescued Orin's victim we need to confront the elder brain but how do we free Orpheus we should wait for our next opportunity to enter the or the the prism, which has not presented itself. So we may need to figure that out. Okay, so this yeah. So there's a bit of a back door here. Let's we'll check it out really quickly. Nothing, nothing doing there. I, I believe it is true. Also, I, I just don't want to get, uh, get caught claiming, claiming that it's true without having done any of my own research. Okay, so I think we're, I think we're done here. The bag of hands can go into this bag of quest items. So, okay, so let's... If I right-click this, I can use it. So maybe we, we hit ourselves with a quick save. What happens if we try and use the astral prism right now? Hmm? Such a curious artifact. So small and seemingly harmless, and yet it contains so much. I mean, that is all true. Okay, so we're not being given an opportunity to... So, okay, so we defeated Raphael, can leave the House of Hope. We should wait for the next opportunity to enter the Astral Prism and free Orpheus. Well, let's hit ourselves with a short rest regardless. Enough sitting around. Let's go hurt someone. Shadowheart is really lacking. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna we're gonna use some of our our precious uh, precious goods. I'm gonna grab two potions of angelic slumber and get our casters back up on on healing potion on uh on spell slots. Everybody's gonna take a nap, and when they come back, they should have uh, they should have their spell slots. We may have to long rest anyways to figure out a way in, but that is that is no handy. Alright, so deep. I'm just curious what people up here say. You guys you guys feeling good about what we just did here? You killed her! You Killed her. I thought it not possible, and yet curious. Good talk. Such agonies I would inflict upon you for what you've done here. But Bao's law is absolute. You may leave unmauled. Thanks. No mauling for us today, everybody. So how would we figure out how to get into the astral prism? Her screams, 
so loud. Should have cut them off, squeezed harder. Still, she is silent now. Hmm. To let such a weakling leave unharmed. But it is Baal's decree. I will not defy him. At least balls, Shell. A little bit of light down there. Be gone. Before I set my teeth to your flesh. He's gonna set his teeth to our flesh. Hmm. She is crushed. Destroyed. Obliterated. But her skull did not sit in my palm. Not by my hand. No. No. I mean, he is correct. We were the ones who did the killing. So messy. All you needed was a drop of Adabile. That would have done for Orin. This guy is perhaps my favorite. So messy. His haircut is... All you needed was a drop of Adabile. That would have done for Orin. Thanks, dude. All right. Well, so, okay. So we need to figure out where we go to enter... Well, we can't fast travel here, so I guess we have to walk out. But how do we get into the astral prism? We don't have a we don't have a hotline to the emperor. Maybe after the brain fight. I'm just, I'm just looking here. Uh, okay, so this is the title of the quest stage we're on. Let's toss that in. Wow. Wait, that can't be right. Waiting for the opportunity to free Orpheus on Google has zero search results? What? Madness. Okay, so this is this is where we confront the elder brain. Like literally this this string of text, let me paste it in here. That string of text that I just pasted literally shows up on Google with with this with this result. How is, how is that possible? <laughs> now, mind you, mind you, the thing that, that makes this truly inconceivable is that text was copy and pasted from a list of quest lists, from, from the quest list of the thing. We could try resting, Daniel. That is, that is an option. Um... Here, let's hit ourselves with a save. We'll do a long rest. I'd rather not rebuff if I don't have to. I just drank those uh, those potions for nothing if, uh, if that's the case. But we'll try it out. Okay, Sam, we'll, we'll have one later. Okay, let's do that instead then. Okay. I just, I just didn't want to, like... I've got my quest checklist, and it's telling me to, like, you know, to do the thing, but... But yeah, we got, I guess we got an elder brain to destroy, don't we? No, 
Now let's see. Asterion? You got spell slots. All right. Uh, let's see. Is there... There's no faster waypoint. So I guess we're... I guess we're hoofing it. <laughs> We've made it this far. I just don't want to miss our opportunity. Did I miss anything in the skeleton? Nope. So the results of my search say the same as I guessed. Some point before slash after, after the Elder Brain. Yeah, okay. Let's see. Wait, we want to go north now. Yeah, I, I do think that my one biggest regret from my first playthrough that I think the, the it's the game's fault, not my fault, is that the sewers, like as soon as I found the sewers, I went down into the sewers and I tab, I, I uh, like stumbled down all this huge rabbit hole that was, that I should have done the sewers later, I think. Like I, I went to the sewers way too early. So, so last time we came down here, I think there were like a trillion confusion rats. Yes, you guys, cranium rats. I think, I think the best play here, I think we just slap down some spike growth. And then that'll that'll do them, do them dirty. There's one rat we missed, so. We'll do that, but saves us uh, saves us a spell slot on uh, on Shadow Heart. Why why is there like why when the rats die does it sometimes do a shouting sound? That's perhaps the most worrisome part. Concentration broken by what? Oh, man. <laughs> now Lazelle's confused. What a sight. Well, it was going to go better until... Until the game decided that this was the way it worked. I guess we are going to use a, a Spirit Guardian here. She got confused. Yeah, the the game ends to uh, to rats. Clearly, is the the way it goes. Oh, she's confused, but she's doing a good job. Do I really spend a spirit guardian on this right now? We have plant growth. This doesn't do any damage, though. It's not the same as spike growth. What's the best AoE for dealing with this? There's not that many more of them left. Could probably just take them out with a with a missile. Yeah, exactly. Lazelle is not missing. There's a first time for everything. I mean, the, the easy answer is just Spirit Guardians here and just charge on through. It'll be satisfying. Swift as my feet can carry me. Oh, wrong person. Hold on. Oh, did she immediately become confused? All right. Well, we can just back up. And they should... 
Most of them should probably run into. Okay, Lazelle needs to move back. Okay. So, why are the rats making screaming noises like humans, though? It's a little concerning. She's still confused. Time to push my luck again. Lazel just has to literally take a step back and then. I thought I was being so clever with spike growth. Okay. The dead sounds are definitely weird. Now, obviously I have to check every one of these cranium rats for gear. Uh, Let's have a look. I, I'm sad that I wasted a, a spell slot on that that wasn't Asterian's, but... Very well. But yeah, the, the concentration broken on Asterian from nothing happening was a little upsetting. Please don't, they don't have anything. I know. It was a joke. It was a joke. I did find a severed arm and a severed torso, though. The head's over here. Oh wait, what was what, which book was this? Oh, experiment on cure. Okay, we knew about that one. Just do that. Send that to camp. I I wouldn't mind it, in in lustrous. I wouldn't mind it. We'll we'll do something else exciting if that doesn't. Uh, if this if this ends early. But don't we have a whole epilogue? That's gonna be like seven hours of dialogue. We got the Morkvik Pool Waypoint. Stardew Valley has never, never excited me, which is not to say that I, I couldn't, but, but I mean, I guess, I guess it's Morphic, I guess it's Morphic Pool Dock Time. Any other last prep? Better than a reading stream. We should probably read Evading the Elder Brain, right? This is setting things up. Uh, the Emperor as interrogated by Gortash Part 3. Oh, why was the Emperor interrogated by Gortash? Uh, when we captured you, you were a rogue and autonomous illithid beyond the power of the Elder Brain that transformed you. That is correct. When we brought you back into the psychonic uh, ambit of our hovering friend the absolute your defenses were overwhelmed and you returned to your former self also correct how did you escape the control of the elder brain in the first place in my original humanoid form i possess an exceptionally strong personality so much so that even the ceramorphosis i was still uh substantially myself of course uh i concealed it beneath the semblance of perfect ser servitude uh, and that's why the Elder Brain was willing to send you out of the colony on scouting missions? Yes, as I told you before. How long did you feign mental slavery before you were able to escape? Uh, Thirteen and three quarters years, until finally you were given a mission to Baldur's Gate, distance enough to be out of the Elder Brain's control. That is correct. Remarkable. That is also correct. Uh, and you don't mind that we've brought you back under cyanic control? I'm entirely devoted to the needs of our Elder Brain and its master. You're not lying about that, right? Correct? That would be impossible. Okay, so I didn't know the Elder Brain was at one point held by Gortash, but that is an interesting detail. Let's see. We're rocking Gortash is gone. Okay. I think... Also, anything special about the command spell on this? 
no, just handy to have. Okay, let's uh, let's press forward then. We're getting on a skiff, and we're going to see a brain about a thing. Once you enter this place, there is no turning back. Uh, then let's let's just do a hard save, just in case. Just so we have a final hard save. Here we go. Deeper and deeper. This, this is your brain on drugs? That's what we're about to do? Pristine darkness in every direction. Who's rowing? Shadowheart looks angry. Lazel well, looks like saying, I'm rowing. And for the gentle, rhythmic slap of water on rock as your vessel cuts through. We'd have to switch sides with the oar, or we'd just go in a circle if we did that, just for the record. In a canoe, you can do like a J-stroke to kind of like adjust for that, but like in a rowboat, if you don't have two oars, you're not going anywhere. Fun boat facts. And I had just given a fun boat fact, and now our boat is ruined. There's no way we could swim in the armor that we're wearing. I mean, maybe Izip, but Lazel and Shadowheart would be dead as doornails. I've always had this sinking fear that, like, Everyone in camp is going to show up for this battle and half of them are going to be level one because I haven't leveled everyone up, but... An overwhelming force pushes into your mind. The brain. It is here. I kind of assumed that was the case. Oh, there's a bunch of gold on the table there. Nice. Loot. Moving ahead. What's hiding here? Always room for more? I can't send things to camp anymore. Okay. Well then. That's going to prove uh that's going to prove interesting for my muscle memory. Give you a few potions. How much gold are we talking about? 150. Inventory report. Uh, goods delivered upstairs. Terrazul, six pouches. Uh, Dream Mist, 14 vials. Wyvern Toxins, two. GQ, but lube. Two double bottles. Basilisk oil. Spectator, I one. Negotiations. Talk with those three. Uh, the talks with those three are going nowhere. I don't know what they want, but I'm close to just cutting contact. No good comes from negotiating with the deranged. L. Who the heck is L? Because we have Kethric Thorm, we have Orin the Red, and we have Gortash, Enver Gortash. 
There is not a single L in any of those names. Hello, Intellect Devourer. How are you doing? Are they hostile to me right now? I can't actually tell. I guess no, they're they're yellow. Okay. Waiting. Preparing. Calculating. Evolving. Okay, everybody is now mind broken. What is what does this do? Affected entity is slowed by the nether brain's psychic shattering. Fun. Seems like it wore off. We have a headless corpse here. Nothing to talk to. Ooh, there's something, there's some digging here. We got some digging. A personal note. I don't know why I'm always the one being sent to smuggle goods into High Hall. I value my neck as much as everyone else here, and those traps are just dangerous as the day they were installed. It's only fair that I get a danger bonus for my work, so if you find this cash, it's because I'm keeping it here for my retirement. From L again. Who we, we still don't know who L is. Or do we? I feel like maybe I'm just being being a dumb dumb. Okay, all the corpses here are headless. Delightful. So there's, so things go up this way and then around through that way. So I guess maybe this path, no. There's actually, this is a bit sprawling. I did not, I did not expect it. Old ledger. This is a ledger of contraband merchandise from the team of knights of the shield smugglers with additional notes uh, to the effect that under pressure from the newcomer Gortash for smuggling into the upper city, they've been forced to fall back on using this long, unused route, a subterranean creek that connects to the Chianthar River. Okay, so so this is, I think this is the unraveling of how how the Elder Brain got here. They be it seems they beheaded all the smugglers after they did that. Got more stuff over that way, but I guess we'll go this way first. Styrian can always use a few more a few more pew pews. Where we're going, we don't need money. Oh, I know. The fact that I can't send stuff is is going to be annoying, but I think we have some headroom on Lazel, so I can just uh, I can just take all the garbage and, and toss it over there. Oh, what is okay? Lotta, an intellect glutton. That is that is an enemy I do not think we have met as of yet. Yeah, that looks like a that looks like a new like larger version of things. Oh, I think we found L. Okay. No loot is safe indeed. The corpse regards you lifelessly. 
Okay, so, uh, what were you doing here? Working job with sister. Okay. Interrupted. Lost everything. Let's see, uh... Uh, where is your sister now? See how did how do I recognize your sister if I find her? That's a good question. So this person is a pirate of some sort. Uh, let's see. Uh, what happened to you? How did you die? Where are you from? Let's go with what happened to you. Discolored, salt, chaos, panic, separated, hid. Uh, what do you know about the brain? Probably nothing. Where are you from? How did you die? How did you die? Down by monsters. Innocence. Colleagues. Transform corrupted brains everywhere. It seems like it's Sam. Swarming overwhelmed. But but the still also like wanes. like a, a hired no a hired questions. mercenary that kind of like fell uh that that was doing was doing work for the elder brain, presumably. Let's see, so Technically, we can go down to there, but like, let's, we don't need to skip any stuff. We can kind of like loop back around, I think. So her name was Drycellus. Good job, team. I, I'm a sucker for the metal trunks. I think they're, they're the nicest looking container in the game. Her sister's name was Wet Salas. Seems, seems logical to me. Dominated, controlled, crowd. I'm, I'm super curious. So, the what was what's the saving throw here? It's a it's a difficulty twenty. Okay, so not out of the question that, that someone could resist it. All right. Nobody lose their head. Now this loops back, so let's let's double check. Double check this path. Now this this is where we entered. Okay. All right. All leads point to all all uh whatever's. All paths point to here. I smell a trap. You smell a trap. Okay. Tell me more. Should we get sneaking? Be quiet. Move with care. Light on my feet. Didum. Didum. That looks like a big pool of water. Uh, let's see. So there's a there's a step down here. This is presumably the river, I would assume. Looks like we can fly back to the place where we, we found her before. But it doesn't look like we get much out of that. Okay. Well, I guess... Guess then we, we're going to loop around this way, and at some point, there's a trap, apparently. Yeah. 
I'm pressing shift to see if I can get any visual on on any like red anything. Okay, I smell a trap was apparently an insight that had little uh little impact on things, so we can go up that way. But it also looks like it kind of curves around. What is Actually, wait, what is Look at look at the map right here. Oh, these stones are of medium toughness. Keeping low. I am death. I knew that was going to happen. Just in case there are bad guys on the far side of it, let's put on the shield too. Oh, wait. Can I not? So wait, what do I... For medium toughness, I have to do 22 damage. I think I'm capable of doing 22 damage. No. I'm doing exactly 10 to 10 damage. So let's see. Is there any magic that we can use on this? No fire, no cold... No psychic, no radiant. Looks like force damage could be good, so let's uh positioning. We got we got some grenades on us. Oh. Wait, hold on. All of a sudden red stuff? Oh, they're hunting us. Okay. Got it. Uh Lazel, can you please get hiding? Okay, so we got an intellect glutton there that I'm gonna try and ambush. Uh, let's enter turn-based mode, please. Can you all stop moving? Okay. So let's blow this guy up, and then we'll figure out the rest. These guys are aggro, so multi-hit arrow will propagate. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of them over there, aren't there? Okay. Where's, where's the other intellect glutton? I just saw him. Does this count as adventuring? I can also drop something on their heads. Keep a blade close. Right now, can I use another multi hit arrow to kill someone? Looks like I can. Feel their anguish. I feel like this, this couldn't be going much better. I'm, I'm not convinced we're in combat yet. <laughs> um, Asterian succeeded his stealth check. Uh, no, there's the other glutton. I knew it was there, here somewhere. I knew I should have had more, uh, more multi-hit arrows handy. It seems like there's more of them coming. Interesting. Okay, those look like they got like some baneling energy going on. Let's get Lazelle out here to be kind of like a frontliner, and same with Shadowheart. Right now, I'm not feeling like we have to do too much, uh, too much work here. Nice work, Shadowheart. Yeah, we'll, we'll just use free actions. I'm not going to get too crazy. Oh, yeah, we have the Hellcrawler boots now. I forgot that we picked those up.
she could at least fire arrows if she can get shots off on people. While we wait for more to come. Miss Zell? Never, never lets anybody down. All right, let's let the next round come in. You're gonna get whacked. Oh, I didn't leave my weapon out. That is such a, uh, that is such a frustrating thing when you when you forget to put out your uh, your pole arm on the far side of things. So I, I didn't get an opportunity attack, which was a bit of a goof. You have seven hit points. You have eight hit points. All right. So this is going to be an easy, I think. Oh, now, hold on. We do have to make sure because Call of the Week has been getting turned off on us. All right. Call of the Week is on. Are they immune to psychic? Nah. Let's make fun of this one. Thou, thou, thou are sauceless. Now, these guys explode, so we got to be a little careful about them. I think I'm going to use one of the exploding arrows on Asterion. I haven't used one of those. Oh, you fell over because of the... Time to kill. Because of that? Yeah, we haven't used many of these exploding arrows. Let's do this because it'll be fun. Fun times, all right. Then pick off the ones that explode. Oh, maybe they do. Oh, they do explode. Okay, I was right. Okay, then Lazelle needs to get her, her actual weapon out so that when they run up, we're, we're good to go. I don't think we can see either of the targets that are still active or the... Oh, there's only one target that's still active. All right. doesn't look like we can get to him. It's going to fall over. No? Oh, it's going the long way around. Okay. So back to back to what we were doing before we, before we got interrupted. Uh, let's open this up. I always carry some grenades with me, so maybe I should. Ah. This is good. Really thought that was a one and done type of situation, but ah. no one like her will ever believe this. All right, we'll give we'll give all the toxic brine and stuff a moment to. To Never sort itself to out while we, I'm. Ready your weapons. This will not be resolved by wits alone. Oh, an opulent right. chest. Oh, I like to think my wits are the best weapon I have. Nice, Shadowheart. Your high regard for your own wits is no secret to anyone. Touche, Maisel. Perhaps wits are contagious. Cute, cute dialogue. All right. So over here we have a chair, a bucket, and an opulent chest. I smell a trap. Let me let me swap over to my perception shield. Okay, someone was trying to throw gold into the bucket. They were drinking a lovely malted beer. There was also a rotten banana they were eating. So they're having a beer and banana while guarding this. Well, the rickety chair, I got to sit in it. Is it going to break? Would have been great if it did. All right. Two scrolls, fly and magic missile. I think we will leave the chest behind, much to my chagrin. So that was a... not Probably not worth the, the price of entry.
this this whole fight could probably not have gone much better. I could see it being like a bit of a mess, but the enemies have very, very small uh, health pools. So it probably was going to be okay no matter what. But Asterion did a good job. And if we don't come out of here with a, a sack full of brains, we've done something terribly wrong. This is, after all, a brain-based economy. After we enslave the nether brain and replace the currency of the land with, uh, with brains, we'll be rich. We'll live like kings. Okay. 21 brains. Lazel, carry my brains for me. It kind of feels like we could have bypassed this entirely because of where we ended up. I think I could have probably just have gone this way and maybe not had to deal with them at all, but... Then there's this. Can we talk about... Can we talk about this floating intellect devourer? Is, do we think that that's... I mean, it looks like... Is it encrusted with frost? I don't know what the effect is on it. I'm kind of wondering if it's the one that we blew up with Shadow Heart. But that doesn't make a lot of sense. That it would teleport over here. Ooh, look at that. We, we, we resisted. Yeah, it seemed like it seemed like a fight that we we probably could have just walked around. Send the water over to Lazel. I mean, probably send everything over to Lazel if I'm being honest. Scrolls go into our scroll case. That stuff over to Lazel. So we got a door here that is locked. I think we go through the door first. Just, just throwing it out there. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, we found her sister, I guess. The, the sad story is getting sadder. Keep your distance, darling. <laughs> Easy. A potion of angelic reprieve. How convenient. You get that. You get that. And then we will read the note. I'm sorry, Listelius. I held them off as long as I could. That thing, it's been digging into my mind like a burning wick melting a candle. Its voice cuts through my eardrums and into my spine. The others, what's done to them, I can't face it. You fought so hard to chisel our place into Baldur's Gate. Please forgive me for not being as strong. Get out of here for me. Okay, this is the, the sister of the other dragonborn. And then another cliff. Okay, looks like, looks like a bit of an open and shut case. Something good here, I hope. Okay. What are what are we walking into now? We 
must be close indeed. See the elder brain? No, it doesn't look like it. I think we're here. We are currently mind broken. Okay, are we just going to be perpetually mind broken? No. Oh, there we go. Senses strung so tight they could snap in an instant. Oh. Okay. We we're supposed to have them close. Oh my gosh, they're a Triforce. I, I love that they assemble and then I just like put them in my pocket. Like, who needs that? Yes. You are wrong. Okay. I've reconsidered my, my stance. Ooh, when did we get force powers? Tentacles. Oh, that's creepy. Oh my gosh, the elder brain has a face. It's messing with your mind. Don't listen to it. Use the stones. Oh no, I'm not good at constitution. I guess I'm okay at constitution because I, I do have the constitution amulet on. Okay, so what are my options here? Muster the full might of your physical form. Throw it in into... Wait. Throw it into breaking through the brain's defenses. Or intelligence. Your mind is at your command. Block out all possibility of failure and compel the brain to submit. Or you have survived this for trust yourself, dominate the brain. Well, I think we I think we go constitution because we we have the best the best improvement on that. We're neither strong nor smart. Why didn't I why is there not an option here for say something smarmy? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Do we go for advantage instead? I think we go for advantage instead. It's a level 2 spell. I don't mind doing Bear's Endurance. Why didn't it... What happened to my... Excuse me, game? I clicked Bear's Endurance. Why did I not... That's weird. Add bonus. Bear's Endurance didn't work. Oh, this sucks. Why why didn't my advantage work? And why can't I do it again? Yeah, nice advantage. Shame if it if it didn't work. I'm also worried I'm wasting all my inspirations that we might need later. It'd be a shame if you never rolled above a five. I, 
I'm just annoyed right now. Thank you. Some of my finest work. By eliminating Kethric, Orin, and Gortash, you have simply unbound me. Exactly as I intended. The crown is now mine to command. Mine alone. Don't listen to it. Focus on the crown. Charisma. Finally, a check. Now, see, if I had known that this was coming next, I would have just failed those and not, I'd not spent all my rerolls. Is this not going to work again? Let's see. Oh, no, I do get two dice this time. How nice. I'm really worried I wasted all my inspirations. Great, back to strength, constitution, or intelligence. Well, we know Khan is our best one, so you're strong. Your resilience will not be shaken. Cast the spell again. Great. Bears endurance, maybe? A 30, though. We literally can't roll a 30. Well, I mean, I guess we can roll a perfect 20, so. It, again, it didn't work. What the heck? Yo, Bear's Endurance is broken, and I don't like it. And you, you had your role to play too. I, Doppel, you can always get lucky with 20s, but... No, no, Sam, I have not. Part of its plan. I only needed one Netherstone they've sent from the Chosen's grasp to guarantee my freedom. You brought all three back to me. In doing so, you have liberated me. I should have saved my inspirations for that, Sam. And it is complete. I am aware, Lazelle. Thank you. Dominate the brain with charisma. I believe this is that check. Yes, difficulty class 99. Eagle Splendor. Give me a 20. Let's do this thing. We haven't had a 20 in all day, I don't think. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. A two and a three. Thanks, game. Yeah, I should have saved the inspirations for that. God, look at that forehead. Look at that forehead. It 
is it is a truly palatial forehead. And I know a thing or two about big foreheads. snap well I guess we're in the astral prism now hammer time oh god the brain is the brain is flying it's a bad day to live in Baldur's Gate I mean, Persuasion and Charisma Doppel are just so dominant in this game, it's kind of unbelievable. Now that right there, that's a thing. Somebody shoot an arrow at it. We've come full circle, I feel like. Oh! A nautiloid? Wait, really? Whoa, okay, I did not see this coming. I didn't know the Elder Brain had backup. Confirmed illithids are Ken dolls. Good to know. Okay, I'm going to need some red dragon support, please. in time. The situation is worse than I thought. You think? This is now the brain. No longer. The magic of the crown has caused it to evolve. It has become something more. A nether brain. Wait, what? Hold on, I need to see the dialogue in this one. Uh, oh, the elder brain no longer, now it's a nether brain. I was like, I thought he was saying the same thing twice. I thought the nether stones were, allow were supposed to allow us to dominate it. Uh, did you expect this? I'm glad you were there to save me. You pulled me out as soon as nearly had it. I thought the nether stones were supposed to d dominate the brain. I thought so too, but that was when I believed it was still an elder brain. It has been anticipating our every move from the start. Yeah, we got played. I underestimated it. We will need to rethink our plan. Do, do, do. Don't mind me. Just gonna go looking for an Orphic hammer. How curious that I happen to have one hanging around. Is this a two-handed weapon or a one-handed weapon? It's a... Okay. Okay, so... Lazelle's just carrying around something. Ooh, look, there's... Can I send things to camp now? Still no. All right. Oh, where'd all my buffs go? That's alarming. 
The images on this slate has been carved with such intensity that it almost pierces the slate itself. Depictions of a spells and weapons frame a lonely central figure, his head bowed, his arms outstretched, chained between two rocks. I see. Potion of gaseous form. That's unfortunate. I guess Lays. I mean, I'm a little worried about Lazel drinking another Cloud Giant potion. Wait. Why is her carry capacity 750 right now? What's next? So wait, everyone has a super carry capacity buff right now? Oh, is it because the gravity is different here? I think it is. I mean, that's hilarious. I, I assume they did that just because they, they forced a rest and people were probably like carrying around too much garbage. And, uh, and they did that, but that's actually kind of funny. Like, the first playtesters who got here and couldn't move because they were carrying stuff. Okay, what about the Githyanki corpse? Let's look at the map here. Uh, wait a second. Let's... We can jump over here, looks like. Never know when you're gonna need one more Chasm Creeper. I wish I had a bag of holding. Hey, Pallone. I think we're we're in the end game. Another another Gith Yankee plate. Slate is scarred with faded symbols, carved over with a drawing. It depicts an army training their commander, uh, stands proudly in the center, his face marked with scars, his eyes burn with a bright passion. High above, a comet streaks across the sky. That's got to be our boy Orpheus. Okay, where, where to next? So we were... We were here, we were going there. It looks like we cut across this way. Have you ever, uh, have you ever sided with the, cause you played a bunch of times, Sam. Have you ever played, have you ever chosen the, uh, the other path? Where you, uh, where you free, where you side with the emperor? Path to there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sneaky, sneaky. Not enough space. Apparently, we can't go over there. Oh, can I jump instead? I can. Interesting. So I think, I think everybody's supposed to come down here. Is there anything going on on this island over here? No? All right then. Ok, 
Okay, two out of three figured out how to get down. Come on, Shadowheart. You can do it. I guess we fly to here and hope that Shadowheart can figure it out on the second attempt. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to give Shadowheart some, some help. But also, I will say... We lost all our buffs, but for some reason... Oh, Astral Gravity. Okay, I thought that was Long Strider. I mean, it it feels more satisfying to me when I think about it, right? Like, the, the Emperor doesn't really offer anything. Orpheus can replace Vlacketh and, like, fix the Githyanki people a bit is my, my sort of hope. That's my, that's my gut desire. So he has Orphic Favor. Well, within 18 meters of Prince Orpheus, his unit has resistance to psychic damage and a plus three intelligence wisdom and charisma saving throw. Yankee's power will see us through. I'll leave that chasm creeper. Okay, we got the we got the auto save. All right, let's let's see what's up with this. Heavy stone. Ooh. Don't see a lot of those. It's not very heavy though. 0. 0.2 kilograms. Let's talk to this guy. Emperor is Orpheus's ally, confirmed by the game mechanics. But then, why do I have to pick? So, okay, so we do we? I, I assume we talk to the emperor, and then Lazel goes goes hammer time. It's not heavy at all. So we could just start whacking on this. But let's let's talk to this guy first. Oh, I see Doppel. I got gotcha. you. our encounter with the Netherbrain from every angle. I know why we failed. Because I can't roll for crap. The problem was not the stones. The problem was you. You can make only one move at a time, but the Netherbrain calculates every possible move at once. Let's not it play knows the blame what game. You do. It knows everything you could possibly do. You cannot outmaneuver it. To defeat it, you would have to think like an Anithid. Better yet, be one. Your mind is not capable of this. Agreed, Sam. Mine is. Okay, now you're just you being a bit of showboaty. to me. I will assimilate Orpheus, and then I will be able to leave this prison to face the brain. Um... Assimilate him? Skva! No! Now is the time to liberate him. Do not stand against me. Yeah, he's a bit shifty. When you assimilate... When you say assimilate Orpheus, what do you mean by that? I release the Netherstone Samperer. Would I be able to wield the stone myself if I became an, an Illithid and assimilate Orpheus? Or I don't care about Orpheus. What do I do to wield the stones myself? Uh, when you say assimilate Orpheus, what do you mean? I will consume his thoughts. His knowledge, his brain. So you would kill him. He is Gith's heir. You'd be the Gith Yankee people's betrayer. You'd be my betrayer. I realize he is of some significance to you, but he is of even more value to our cause. Let's see. Um. There is another way. We will free Orpheus. You still don't trust me. After all we've been through. Remember, I have been your salvation from the very beginning. Your knight in shining armor. 
I freed you from the Nautiloid, prevented you from crashing to your death. I have protected you ever since, at no small cost to myself. Yeah. I came to you as a leader, but I did not shy away from showing you vulnerability. I needed you as much as you needed me. I was not above recognizing this. When you discovered my true identity, I did not flinch from the truth. I never lied to you. Not once. I am just like you. We have the same enemy. The same story. I encouraged you to fulfill your potential. All while protecting you from harm. Now I ask you for the last time to trust me. Release the Netherstones to me. Sorry, buddy. You withheld information from me at every turn. Uh, I will never trust you or enough. I have the hammer. I will free Orpheus. I think that's it. I told you we have to trust one another. I told you the Githyanki would only want to kill you for what you are. Still, you choose to break our alliance. Even united, the Netherbrain was going to be an impossible enemy. But apart, we have no chance of survival. I... Even united, the Netherbrain was going to be an impossible enemy. Is he saying this twice? But apart, we have no chance of survival. He said it twice. So nice he said it twice. Doppel, I, I think... It is important to the growth of characters in games that you feel insignificant. Are we soft locked? Seems like we might be soft locked. He said the thing twice, and now nothing's happening. Space to skip. Okay. Uh, okay, so I'm supposed to go. Where did the emperor go? Was there? Was there? What? What was supposed to happen there? Did he like fly the away or something? Gone. Our mission is set. Smash the crystals with the hammer and free the prince of the comet. Gith's beloved son will lead us to a sure victory against the Netherbrain. Did we kill him? Did he fly away? What happened? I I can see that. Welcome back. He joined the enemy side. Oh. Was there did I miss a lot of dialogue where he talked about that? The Yankee Prince takes his blade. A silent cry pierces your head. It's unlike any sensation you've ever felt. You freak of Illithid. You stole an unborn hatchling from my people. And you slaughtered my honor guard. I miss a lot of dialogue, Sam. Nonetheless, it seems we must be okay. allies. I'm going to go back. I want to see it. Your Majesty. The Prince of the Comet gives true heir. It is an honor. Do not patronize me. You rejected the Illithid when it no longer suited your needs. No doubt you freed me because it suits you now. I will neither forgive nor forget your abuse of my powers. Yeah, it's a little whack. Um... Let's see. I had no choice without your powers. I would have died. The Emperor held all the cards until now. I freed you at the first opportunity. Drop the attitude. You're free now, aren't you? Or I should have left you in your chains. I'm going to say the Emperor held all the cards until now. I freed you at the first opportunity. It's true. That is false. You had the opportunity to surrender yourself to my honor guard. They would have given you a noble end. Any worthy individual destined to become cake would have done so. Wait, what? My guard would have freed me, and I would have stopped the Elder Brain before it evolved into a Nether Brain. All that 
hearts. Suffering. Avoidable. Were it not for the choices you made. Let's forget about the past. I was misled. What now? You went through a lot, so I'll ignore that. Or while well, we bicker the nether... I mean... I mean, I... All of these are bad. Or if that's all you have to say, I'll just leave you here then. Uh, well, we bicker. The nether brain is executing the grand design. We need to stop it. I'm going to go with three, I think, here. This is this is very Githy Yankee. In this, we are aligned. I am obliged to overlook your transgressions. Got a cool bit of beard we will destroy jewelry. the nether brain together and put a stop to this nascent empire before it expands into the stars. The Gake was correct about one thing. The Netherbrain's power is beyond us. The hardest metal in the world would not cut through its mind, for it is made of thought itself. At uh -oh. this point, it will take an Elithid to unleash the full potential of the Netherstones. Wait, so I need to turn into an Elithid anyways? Someone will need to turn into a Mind Flayer. Are you willing to do that? Um... I'm not becoming... I understand if that's what it takes, I will do it. I can't... I can't turn Orpheus into a Mind Flayer. That seems like a bad end. I think I have to sacrifice myself. Maybe I'll go with there has to be another way. Nah, I understand. If that's what it takes, I'll do it. It seems I misjudged you. You are capable of sacrifice. The Netherbrain wants nothing more than to see all infected become geek. My defenses keep the voice of the Absolute out. But just as I can raise them, so I can lower them. I will allow the voice of the Absolute in. Once it reaches you, it will order you to transform. It will only take a moment. And once you are a mind flayer, I will fold you under my protection once more. You will yeah, be Pallone. the savior of empires. I decided, I decided to sacrifice myself. My own. With the withdrawal of Orpheus's power, your mind is rushed with the full force of the Netherbrain. You feel a compulsion unlike anything. Time to get ever. ugly. Excruciating and exhilarating in equal measure. Wish nothing in the world but to evolve. Then complete silence. As you are once again closed off from the brain's mind. My people will remember you. The rebel Illithid who stood beside their reborn prince and ended the grand design. Let us return now to the city. And follow the path of the Netherbrain. I don't. I don't think it makes sense for. Come. It's time for us to meet our fates. I don't think it makes sense for anyone other than me to turn into the Illithid. Level nine spell, Carsus's compulsion. Channel the stone's magic to control the crown of Carsus and dominate the Netherbrain. The caster must channel this spell until their next turn for it to take effect. Ends if the caster is stunned. It looks like we got extract brain, lobotomize a nearby creature that is stunned, prone, or sleeping. We have tentacle whip that does a bunch of damage. Yeah, I'm glad I did this. So I have command over there. Let me get this on our bar. Synaptic consumption, devour a foe, lowering all their ability scores. You regain hit points. This belongs over here. Wait, where did fly go? I still have fly, right? I can still fly? Nope, it got removed from the board. All right, so we're, we're saving the world one step at a time.
How much is my Mind Blast doing these days? Where is that one? Eh, Mind Blast isn't doing that much, but we can we can eat brains of things that we stun now. Put that over there. Uh, no, flies on flies on the second uh, flies on the second ring, I believe. I, I think it comes for free though. But anyways, all right, we have become Illithid, Mind Flare form. Uh, I think we're just supposed to go through the portal, but we'll give uh, him a quick talk. My friend. See, now he likes us. All right. Portal to High Hall. A most noble sacrifice. Gifts blessings upon you. Rest still. Here we go. I don't like that we don't get to wear our clothing. Pretty cool. No dragon. Where are all these Nautiloids coming from? All the lore said they couldn't even make them anymore. But there must be a way past it. We can use stealth or force, just as long as we move quickly. We can move, use stealth or force just as long as we move quickly. Good to know. Why, why am I moving so slowly? <laughs> can we not? Oh wait, I'm, I'm encumbered for obvious reasons. Still encumbered? But again, we don't have any buffs, which is really frustrating. At the very least, we should potion up, I think. The Githyanki plates that are heavy. What's the all right? Let's get let's get Lazel drinking a cloud giant potion. Wait, where is her cloud giant potion? Oh no! Did I dr I drank the last one after the rest, not knowing that there would be another rest? We might have one over here. Yep, we do. Good, good, good. There we go. At the very least, she needs that, and then Asterion needs a Bloodlust Elixir. Okay. All right. Oh yeah, Lazel needs... Lazel needs her Halberd back. All right, I think we're ready to go now. First. The prince of the comet has come. Shabar Orpheus. Shabar Orpheus. Shabar Orpheus. Voss, my most loyal friend. Tactician Doppel. How good to set eyes on you. You honor me. Your radiance. A gauge keeps you company. Unusual. An illithid in guise. An old ally in truth. He took this form so I might end the grand design. The Squaw. Can it be? Thanks to you, the skies above Tunarath shall tremble with sounds. Orpheus will take the truth to the people. We will slay the Lich Queen. Our chains will be cleaved. Oh, we are ugly. Voss, your words oh. lift me. Vlaketh will splinter like glass and vanish like smoke. Shavar Orpheus! 
Let's see. Uh, Githyanki freedom means nothing if the grand design comes to pass. We need your help, Voss. Celebrate later. I've got another brain to face, or by nine hells, how did you find us? When the hammer struck, the air's psionic cry shook the plains and marked his Oh, look locus. at this guy in the background's mustache. Flashit will have heard it too, and she won't stand idle. The queen will have her due in time. Today, we strike at the brain. This champion holds the key to its defeat. Stand by for orders, Voss. Answer to him as you would answer to me. As you wish, Prince Orpheus. Forward! It <laughs> really, really funky. Let it be the first victim in the war for the skies! Call forth allies. All right, your allies have pledged to help you. You can summon them during combat using the ally summon button over here. Okay, good to know. Let's see. There's the, I, I just remembered one other thing that I was like, oh, we should do this in prep. But now I don't know what it was. Does, uh... Yeah, no one stopped me yet. I guess we're, we're good for the moment. So I, I don't want to click that button yet, I don't think. Maybe, maybe we see what it does, though. I just hit this with a quick save. Okay, so... Kithrax Inferno or that. Okay. Got it. So it won't it won't use immediately. Still alive. So that's progress. Another step forward. Yeah, hold on. Can we get a look at ourselves? We don't look that bad in this one. In dialogue, we look absolutely whack though. You never know when you might find something that will turn the tide in a bookshelf. We are fast going to... We're fast going to fill up on garbage. So, I guess I need to be a little more... Uh, a little more selective with what I pick up since we don't have send to camp. Gotta loot all the trash. Don't waste what, what would it be if I was inconsistent, you know? Watch Citadel, home to the protectors... We have lost much Whoa, what already. happened? Okay. And we will lose more before the day is out. But even when the last soul falls, Baldur's Gate will stand. For Baldur's Gate is more than just a city. It is more than a place of opportunity for those of mercantile spirit. More than a place of refuge for those who are lost. One last more chance to get your shopping in. For friends, loved ones, and adventuring souls. Hey, Jahira. Baldur's Gate is a place where anyone can find what they need if they're just willing to fight for it. Today, Baldur's Gate needs us. Today, we fight for... <laughs> Who is this ugly guy? Your late friend? This is the one you spoke of. The very same. The champion we've been waiting for. The one who will save Baldur's Gate from ruin. Seriously, Sam. The fist eyes you with suspicion. He was not expecting the savior of Baldur's Gate to be a mind flare. Appearances may change, but they do not mask the one within. Thanks, this Withers. This one, I know. Observe with whom it traveleth. Friends. This mind flare will fight with thee. It will save thy city and thy lives. The fist's suspicion softens to curiosity, his hostility melting at the recognition that there's more behind those eyes than malice. My steel is yours, Mind Flayer. Come on, I still alone. have a name. <laughs> Never thought I'd be fighting alongside a Mind Flayer, but I'll fight with you, with magic. I'm better at crafting steel than wielding it. 
Your friend here is armored and potion fueled and ready for battle. I have marshaled the best Did our of owlbear grow up? To offer. We will fight to the last. The moon maiden's silver light is a shield in dark times. Today, it is mine to wield. And I hold her sword. Whatever strength I have to lend, I will lend it. Interesting, I will Sam. Make my city proud again. Did you think I was gonna let you have all the fun? Hey, Maul. looks out for her friends. Mine flyers included. And she'll have your back. Trust me. You carried me once, friend. And now, I'll carry you. Yes, strange <laughs> ox. Heck yeah. You can count on me, little squid. I thirst for the hunt. I made some improvements to Ramaz's arcane artillery. Give the word and the sky falls on any who stand in your way. All right. Not sure what I have to offer a mind flare if I I'm will, honest, Sam. But I hope my words of encouragement and reassurance will strengthen your auto. I don't think we missed any allies. The journey has been brutal, but I stand here a hell rider once more. And I would die a proud man if I died this day. I want my city back. And I've brought the toughest bastards from the guild to get the job done. My people have never hunted a monster this large. They are eager to join the fray. Thanks, Alma. All the strength of the lands we healed flows through me. And from me to you. No matter what form you take. I wish Helson had some pants on, though. Awaits. Glad to have you with us. And not a moment too soon. The air is thick with anticipation. That's All a lot of people. Eyes are on you. They're expecting a speech. Something to stir their hearts and put fire in their bellies for the fight ahead. If what only we had good charisma. Players say that could encourage them on the threshold of battle. Why speak at all? Infiltrate their minds and stir whatever motivations you find within. That's kind of a cool one. Double, I did everything. <laughs> what one one ally we do not have is the uh, the Holophant detective because I did kill him to become a silent assassin to get some gear, but to blood, death, and slaughter, a fight well fought, a brain well burned. We fight to defeat the Nether Brain. We took control uh, to fight to take control of its crown. Where our freedom depends on you. Fight with everything you have. Or why speak at all? Infiltrate their minds and stir whatever motivations you find within. Also, trade? Yes. Horseradish. That's what I'm talking about. This is it. It's the greatest horseradish of our, of our entire existence. All right, let's infiltrate their minds. Here we go. We're saying the most inspirational thing to everyone. Because we're Mind Flare, right? That's what we do. Everyone loved it. <laughs> we'll prepare God, we're ourselves. ugly. We'll be ready when you call upon us. Baldurin's grace be with you. Look at this crew. All right, so buffs. So let's see. So we have, uh, we have permanent mind sanctuary. What does that do? Uh, mind flares can use actions and bonus actions interchangeably. Insane. Uh, Orphic favor. Then we have wave walker or weave walker. Uh, we have freedom of movement. We have rallied. Uh, Granting you 30 temporary HP from Duke Raven Guard. Fletcher's Favor, equipped with Maul's Tricks of the Trade. Affected entities can cast Rays of Fire. Uh, reduce all fire damage by 5. And additional 1d4 charisma checks. We have Volo's Guide to Monsters. Uh, preeminent work affects entities. Plus 2 attack rolls and saving throws. And we have Spirit of the Land. Plus 1 to ability scores. And additional 2 movement. So Still then if we, despite everything. if we go into our inventory, wait, oh, even, uh, Null the Red is here? 
So 21 charisma. It's not. We're not really that charismatic at the moment for being this ugly. Hold on. Let's just. Yeah, especially with Volo's eye, we are. We are weird looking. And also, why does our robe not show up? Yeah, we're we're in illithid armor no matter what we do. Swap to that. Can we talk about the fact that this is stealing? Come on. In what freaking world? Do we have Speak for Animals currently? No. Seems like a good moment to talk. Let's go! Let's go! Want to bite? Just trade with Noel the Red? I will. But I mean, I feel like I should talk to everyone. Even I was surprised by how well the owlbear would take to the potions. <laughs> Just look at him. Glorious little creature. Well, not so little anymore. Oh, so wait, so is is it grown up? Or no, it has Damon's special brew. It enrages the owl bear, and then it has some auras. We'll flee for two turns when badly hurt. Okay, yeah, we don't want them dying. Withers, what do you have to say? Dost thou need my services? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I would like to dismiss a hireling, if obviously. If thou art ready, proceed to seal fate's image with thy final stitch. Okay. Now, did, does Damon have stuff for us? Who knew we'd make it this far? I'm behind you. Or wherever you need me to be, really. Lead on. Okay, I can't I can't buy from him. Arabella, what do you got going on? I wouldn't be here without you. It's time I repaid the favor. Okay. I'm glad you're here. The Illithid too. Though it'll take some getting used to. Cool. Halson, what do you got going on? Oakfather preserve you. And you. Uh, how are you doing? Were you harmed by Orin? Uh, or were you harmed when Orin took you? You weren't harmed. Okay. Uh, let's, let's check it out. Just my pride. I can't believe I allowed myself to be knocked unconscious and spirited away like that. Kind of embarrassed. Kind Impressive of embarrassing. that she managed to move my bulk, come to think of it. I wonder how that was managed. They probably used a wheelbarrow. But in either case... It seems I was insensible for much of my ordeal. Small mercies. Hundreds of hours, Sam. I, I, I want to know what people have to say. Have courage, my friend. Your victory is assured. I knew I was in for something exciting from the moment we first met. Don't disappoint me now. Don't look at me. This is your charge to lead. And no one better to do it. Thanks, Jahira. Counselor Floric got a weird Today, hood. We take back the city. Yeah. We also kill another brain, which might be more noteworthy than taking back the city. Okay, Volo has nothing to say. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, if we're going around this way, let's talk to Nine Fingers. Come on. Speeches are done. All that's left is the doing. I mean, I need to talk to the strange ox. Dame, what do you got going on we here? We face the greatest evil our realm has known. And we do it together. On your word, the sword of Saluna will fall upon our foes. Oh, that's that's another thing we need to note, is call forth allies. Now we got a whole bunch of these. We got Florix cohort. We got the Gur hunt wardens. We have the silver harp squadron. We have Guildmasters Keen's Fixers. Oh, wait, I should read the descriptions on these two. Florix Personal Guard. Okay. And then we have the Gur Hunt Wardens. Uh, Gur Monsters to hinder... Summon Gur Monster Hunters to hinder the enemy while slipping in and out of the front lines. We have the Silver Harp Squadrons. Summon elite Harper Archers to provide range support to the back ranks. Uh, Guildmasters Keen's Fixers summon two elite mercenaries from the guild's ranks. Hellrider Platoon summons Zelvor's Hellriders to smite foes and support the frontline allies. Balm of the Moon Maiden call, call upon Isabel to offer a furtive prayer to Saloon 
healing nearby allies. Sword of Silverlight, summon Dame Aelin, Selune's Shining Paladin, to join your side in battle. Hellstalker Urgir, uh, a deadly combatant, uh, become invisible immediately after attacking. Battle ready owlbear, summon the owlbear cub, all grown up and ready to rage in its full armor. An apple a day, summons Lorb, a shape shifting monstrosity that can adapt, adopt the aspect of several monsters and beasts. Roland's Firestorm, do 160 damage in an AoE, I presume. And Kithrax Inferno, get some, some of this stuff going on. After you finish the playthrough, it's time for some multiplayer, right? I, we will see, but probably not right away. Aren't you glad you helped me into the city? <laughs> the bloodbaths I've enjoyed. And now, the greatest one of all. Let's go have some fun. Smells like violence all round. Smoke. Blood. Tears. <laughs> this will be a good hunt. Hurry on and start the attack. What just happened to him? All right, let's see. Noel the Red. Bodies, bloods. This is the dream. Knew I was smart to sneaks in. The Skelly Boy said I could stay if I sold your stuff. So hurry up. Bye, bye, bye. Okay. Okay, all kinds of goodies. Of course, one arrow of many targets. Thanks very much for that. Also, why? I feel like I should get a discount here. Just saying. You know there's a battle about to begin, right? Really? Oh, don't you go getting chopped up. I need customers. I I have a staggering number of of angelic potions, Sam. Real man. I think I have 6 at the moment. I have 4 potions of angelic slumber. I have 9 potions of angelic reprieve. I think we're probably good. All right, Alma. We stand ready to help you, as you helped us. Yep, I I sent your your children who are now vampires into the Underdark. Roland, anything else to say? You have the full force of Ramses Tower and its dashing master at your side, my friend. Let us finish this. Check our let's check our quest log also, real quick. Uh, rescue Orin's victim. With Orin defeated, we can finally. Uh, see if her victim is all right. Gather your allies. This was the final list. It's not bad. We, we had a few allies. We freed Orpheus. All we have left is... Oh. Freed Orpheus from prison. With, with his assistance, we might defeat the Netherbrain. We still have... I uh, became an Illithid. Da, 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 da. Claim Karsus's crown. All right. Well, then. It's annoying that I can't steal this thermodynamic axe. I could cast darkness and do all the things. Also, there's a there's a whole, like, tower we can climb up here. So I'm presuming that out this way. Oh, maybe we, maybe up is the. Okay, we got, we got citizens over here. What, what is this? We got a den, dead winged horror. Hey, Tarlo. Uh, advisable to max out invis and sneak to the brain fight. Based on spell slots, you have slumber and regen opportunities before the big fight, but maybe don't waste resources on the riffraff. I think it'll just be fun to be powerful. I, I don't want to kind of, I don't want to sneak through. I think I want to kind of go for it. I just don't know which direction we're supposed to go right now. Let's, uh, I guess we'll start by going up this tower. Whoops. Exactly clear on it's 
is awkward. Let's go. I want to see what Orpheus can do here. So he's a monk. Use up key points. Key points are a replenishable resource. I just want to see how hard. Wait, you don't. You can't punch this guy? Okay, now you can. Okay, so Orpheus, at least in. I mean, he's doing good work, but. So now we, we can get a, a little view of the battlefield. It looks like we're headed this way. Okay, we got some Nautiloid tanks over there. We got some patrolling guards. Okay. It was weird that it wasn't just offering a move to do that, though. That's kind of what I was getting at. Do we think there are any, uh, any bird's nests with eggs on the roof here? Yeah, I don't I don't think I want to skip any fights. Like we're we're here, we have our allies. I think it's going to be fun to to try and utilize them. Oh, hi Olive. How you doing? Coming in to say hi? Olive has decided to join the final battle alongside the owl bear. Lovely. All right. Yeah, we have we have an opportunity. Let's let's utilize folks and do stuff. Oh, wait, what just happened? Oh, everybody's okay, everybody's on the move now. It's go time. Is there orders? By order of the High Constable Master of the Walls, do to do. P.S. If you even smell wine before the guest arrives, you'll be personally flogged. Yeah, we we've had a long journey to get here. It's time to uh, it's time to crack some skulls. Time of the Patriarchs is over. Okay. Ooh, ooh, Dragon Shadow. Nice. Can we see it as it flies over? Nope. We're doing things though. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna cut out the looting here as we go. Do we have our first battle up here? Doesn't look like it. I'm gonna wreck you, Mind Flayer. Oh, well, you dusted a few people first. Leave him be. We have to keep running. Reading stream. Uh, watch. Uh, leave him behind. We have to keep running. You're running the wrong way. This is how the City Watch valiantly defends its home. Or what is happening here? Can't you see? It's over. Oh no, it's not. There's a glimmer of something beyond his words. Oh. But in a moment it's gone, consumed with fear. I'm sorry. We can't. I'm sorry. Okay. That's fine. So we got we got some red stuff up there. There's some civilians here. Maybe we can Talk to and or save. Or they can turn into Get Yankee. Okay. Or excuse me, not Get Yankee, but uh So which 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 ally should we bring in here? Uh she doesn't in the thumbnail, but she does in real life. Uh let's see. Yeah. 
Come on in, Owlbear. Get out here, Cub. It's time to finally earn your keep. All right. Oh, do you get charmed? Is that why you can't attack again? Wait. Why did you... You must have gotten charmed? That's weird. Oh, I killed the wrong one. I wanted to leave one up so that I could test out the test out the owl bear. But we can bring them back again. That's the nice thing. They're not gone because they're still healthy. These things have stayed interesting. Okay, okay, so we could there's a cracked wall here that presumably allows us to like go in more oh, more sneaky like. Everything. I can't fit through here. Wonder if there's another way in. Oh, we could go gaseous form, I guess, to do that then. No time to rest. Also, I can't. Okay, there we go. These boots have seen everything. Okay, so we have seen invisible people. We can sneak. Do we do we really want to avoid fighting? There are a lot of people here, aren't there? Climb this ladder. Yeah, let's let's do a little bit of fighting. Just from the high ground? Okay. I'm I'm down with some I'm down with some high ground. I don't mind getting an advent advantageous uh start on this fight. Hello. What is that? Is everybody up here? I feel like someone didn't come up here. Oh, there's Shadow Heart. Alright. Now, let's, let's see if this just lights the whole world on fire. Yes, it does. All right. Is there anyone over here? There's no one over here. So people are going to largely come to us, I think. I can't waste any more time. Now, are you are you surprised? Don't I don't I have a thing I can do to surprise people like extract their brain? Now, they have to be stunned, prone or sleeping or unconscious for me to extract their brain. I could probably knock them over with Lazelle. The Winged Horror is relatively low HP, so let's... Asterian's doing some good work, I will say. This is a... That was quite a, a string of crits. Now... Gotta get... Gotta get our happy buff also. Maybe... Maybe that's slightly the danger zone. 
Um, but I think... I think now we can just kind of, like... Delete you. And now we're largely waiting for folks to come over here. I think. Let's get... Let's get Lazel like, here. And I'm bringing... I'm bringing back our out. No, I guess I can't... We want to get the owl bear back in? Nah, we don't necessarily need it. Maybe we go for the backline archers. Where were they? The Gers Huntsman? Let's see. Uh, wait, there, where, where were the archers that we had? Monsters hinder enemy with slipping in and out. Archers. Yeah, let's get some archers going here. Wait, what are the options here? Permanent Mine Sanctuary. Can I not? Oh, I guess I already used my primary action. And I can't do that as a secondary action. I thought Permanent Mine Sanctuary was going to allow me to. But I have, I have Permanent Mine Sanctuary. Uh, so I can freely use actions and bonus actions interchangeably. So I feel like I should be able to do it. Does it use both? Oh, maybe I have to enable Mine Sanctuary, though. No, it's not enableable. See, like, because I, I can cast another Vicious Mockery. I think we've killed everybody in the general vicinity, though, so I'm going to, like... I'm gonna do that and then have Lazel come stand like here and unhide. Okay. Join us. Only works for Illithid powers. It doesn't say that. And the way that normal Mind Sanctuary works, it also doesn't work that way. So, seems a little curious. <laughs> Sorry, too gleeful there. I know. Okay, archers. Can I can I shoot a arrow of many hits over that away? Oh, not enough movement to get there. Yeah, I wanted I wanted to see what it looked like. Let's see. How close how close are we? Okay, we can let's just walk forward a little bit and let's see about Okay, so I think we work on this it's just, this guy's just a little guy. I wish we had Long Strider right now. Um, to the shadows. I will ascend. Another fight. Let's go. Yeah, we we should we should put Long Strider on someone so that we can do a little more here. Hungry for the slaughter. Magic Missile on six targets. Doesn't seem like that big a deal. Who got hit with all that? You're, you're coming straight in to get whacked by Lazel. What? Uh, I'd like to file a complaint. What the heck happened there? Fool, damn you. Uh, counter spell. Really? <laughs> I 
Well, we just killed the zealot with our counter spell. Um, or excuse me, with our psionic backlash. That was that was good stuff. I don't think we need to do anything else right now. Uh, let's see. We're gonna. We're now we're gonna many targets, and hope that this goes straight through and just goodbye. Can you get a shot on this guy? No, it doesn't look like it. He oofed himself. Yeah, pretty much. You were supposed to get polearm mastery as you walked through this door. For the record. <laughs> Miss Zell. Oh my goodness. My favorite. Nothing will stand in my way. Let's see. Hold on one second. Alright, where was I? Let's see. Okay, so Asterion, you're not going to get anything else done, so you might as well ice this person. Significantly more icing is required. There we go. Now, I want... I want to take out these three. Blood comes easy these days. Can we just do, like, a shatter over here? Looks like we can. Yeah, let's just shatter them. That'll be fun. Oh, we're going up here? What is... Oh, what is this maneuver? <laughs> okay, that was fun. That was still fun. Swift and lethal. Now, let's see. Where, how is this guy going to get up here? I don't even know. Survival is all that matters. Target's too far. Can we just, like, fly back down here? Looks like we can. Why can I not? Oh, I can't get vision on on him. Oh, I still have I still have my primary action. Well, we got we got two people down here. Let's get the owl bear cub out here. No, I can't do it. Okay, I did use my primary action. Can you hit this guy over here. All right, I guess we, we can't do much. You're you're all done with your stuff. Orpheus, I'm not going to put you in harm's way right now. I guess you do have a fireball. That would have been that would have been good for over there. Ooh, also globe of invulnerability isn't bad. Stunning strike. Blood in the air. I I'm curious. Yes, Mr. Greg. Shadowheart gets to do a big hit here. <laughs> Always my favorite. So, because I'm a Gloomstalker, we get really good openings, and then things get a little bad after that. Only get, uh, like, two, two hits on normal turns. Sixty-five. That one I will. Oh, can't even catch my breath. We're just gonna make fun of this guy to death. I 
I really want Shadow Art to get a big hit in. This guy's encrusted with frost, so it's like the perfect time. That was not the that was not the hit we needed, Shadow Heart. Come on. You can do better. Very embarrassing. <laughs> We're having a real hard time with this last guy. I don't really want you to go downstairs to do this. Can you just do it here? Thank you. Alright, at least someone has the capacity to close. Let's see. So we got up here. We got some big doors there. Some big doors here. We got some nautiloid tanks. Wow, there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff here. Interesting times. Mind my step. That is, that is true pain. Oh. Okay, we got more enemies. Oh, there's a, there's a patrol over there too. Oh, you fool. What do we got here? These are, this is an oil barrel, so let's get a flaming arrow going. Gotcha. Did I get the, did I get the mind flare too? Yeah, it's almost dead, nice. Oh, I can't get a, I can't get a shot around though. I can. Okay, we didn't get to see it happen. Was that just a critical miss? Okay, I, I'm really, I'm failing to be able to relish the uh, the moments here because the the camera keeps zooming in awkwardly. Can I not get you guys? Can I shoot up here, maybe? No, it looks like there, we got some awkward, some awkward stuff going on here. Can I get, can I get the winged horror? It looks like I can get the winged horror. No need for that. And then, yeah, it looks like we can't get this guy. At least not with you. Are we gonna be, are we gonna have a big chain reaction? I don't think we're necessarily, where's Where's this person? Okay, that person is there. I think we wanna get, oh, we do, this guy is active. Okay, maybe this is where Lazel goes. This could be a good spot for Lazel, right? Should have, uh, should have talked about that sooner. Let's see, and then Asterion, you still have shots. Can you finish this guy off? Wait, you do have shots still, right? Path interrupted. Why are you showing me a clear path? Is the railing interrupting me? No more missing, indeed. Uh, I guess... Can we throw something at this guy? Apparently, yes, we can throw something. We just can't... We just can't do anything else. Um... Not gonna do too much. Lazel though might want to kind of like break line of sight here. I'm having a really hard time getting Asterion to do much of anything right now. I still can't believe I can't. I couldn't do more. All right, I guess. Just like I guess we just hide. 
Orpheus, can you? No fireball for you. The the line of sight here is uh, is not pleasant. Victory awaits. I will ascend. Oh, okay, we do have. Looks like this person didn't do anything despite being in the turn order. Okay, so I guess there were more over there. Oh, including a spectator, all right. Nice. Nebulous black hole. A thing that happened. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm mostly worried about the spectator now that I've now that I've done this like really poor engagement where. The black hole did a lot of work, though, I will say. So let's see. So we should probably just kill this guy. We can use this Rays of Fire spell to do it. We might want to save that for later, though. Use our, use our curriculum of strategy, Artistry of War. We might want to save that for later, too. This mind flare is going to get a chance to go. It's only going to do 48. Don't need to save spell slots. All right, we'll go. We'll go ham then. Why didn't Shadowheart get a get a go? Arcane interference on that. Uh, we'll, we'll cutting words out. Let's see if we can. Oh, we're still silenced. That's not great. Our banishment is now faded. Wow, bad bad job, bad job. Okay. Getting, getting Shadowheart anywhere where she can do anything is going to be a pain. We're all over the place right now. I don't think there, I don't think we're in any like risk, but I get can't really jump off of this either. And there's no way I can shoot off of this ledge. Because this this thing is like way too tall. Alright, we're gonna do this and we're just gonna get rid of the fire. So that we can walk here next turn. But it's not ideal. I might have wanted to save it for him, but. Currently silenced, so there's a little bit of awkwardness. Hey, all right, Sam. I'll catch you on the flip. Okay, so so I think I think what we do is we like run to he here. Oops. No, that's not great, but okay. We need we need to get Long Strider on everyone. This is horrifying. Okay, then we're gonna go to town on this guy. do it my way. 
What uh, what type what type of thing are you? You're a beholder. You're an aberration. We have an aberration slaying arrow. That did that did a hundred damage. Let's take a look at that one. That was pretty good. 34, 28, 32. Not bad. But that is the end of the turn, unfortunately. Orpheus is going to finish up the spectator, I hope. With a fury of blows. Time to strike. Now, Lizelle's going to... Take a moment to do you, then can you jump back up here? It's like you can. Taking position. That's a heck of a jump. Good job, Lazel. Oh, we got treed. God dang it. That is the worst bug, I just want to say. The yes you can jump here, no you can't jump here bug is just infuriating. Are we currently silenced? Certainly doesn't look like we're currently silenced. What, do we know the explosion radius on Nautiloid tanks? Best be on my way. Come on. Why do I have to be so close to it? Well, that wasn't great. That didn't work out at all the way that I wanted it to. I don't want to blow myself up, so... Uh, now we're close, so we ranged attacks aren't going to be good. We can do this. Not enough movement. All right. Um, this guy's 48 hit points. It's not quite enough. Okay. Let's get to work on this dude. That was the wrong target, let me just say. <laughs> I deserve that. I haven't been using my allies either. I need to get on that. Oh, it's just, it's the worst feeling that Lazel is stuck. Oh my god. Great. All right. Well, she's never she's never getting out of purgatory. Just the way it is. Let's see. 
We got... They're a little spread out right now. So, I don't think we have a great option here. Do we just have unlimited uses of this? Of Nebula's Black Hole? We can just do it as many times as we want. <laughs> seems... Seems okay. Become absolute. She would have missed her attacks anyways. I mean, it's true. It's very true. Okay, can we just... I guess I, I need to move to somewhere where I can get hidden to get my sneak attack off. Now they see me. Which still didn't kill? Disaster. Orpheus is our closer. I don't know what to say. Victory awaits. How far can we get, Lazel? Not far enough. Nothing important is ever easy. Let's call forth an ally. Why can I still not do it? What is going on here? There's some bug, it must be. Or maybe I maybe I can't because I already called forth the owl bear once. No? Like, I have all my actions right now. And it doesn't appear like I can do it. I think... I think that there's some weird interaction between permanent mind sanctuary. I guess maybe we can do it over here with you? Wait. The owlbear cub is no longer... No longer potioned up? You only get one time with the owlbear cub potioned up? Well, I guess... I guess our... Our game is going to end like it began as a comedy of errors. I don't know what to say. Thank goodness that doesn't hurt the owlbear cub, I guess is the only thing. Are we are we blind too? Why why is it showing me having to run all the way over there to do something? Losing my mind here. Yeah, it's showing us as blind. But I don't think we're blind. It starts as a comedy and it ends as a comedy. It's true. I'm I'm baffled by what's going on right now. This guy kills our owlbear cub. 
close. We knocked him on his butt. Is Lazel finally gonna get in here for uh, for a little, a little something? Good job, Lazel. Amazing work. Got two goblins guarding this door. It looks like. Oh man, frustrating. Our initiative it seems to have gotten really bad all of a sudden. Game won't even show me the the good moments. No time to rest. All right. Looks like we've cleaned things off here. There's a winged horror there. Let's have some cup. That's some good pavement. Okay, looks like there's another one down here. Is this an alternate path up, or is this something different? Swift as my feet can carry me. <sighs> okay, it does look like maybe we could have come over this way. Yeah, so okay, we could have jumped off there and come come in this way as well. Give us a big ladder if we're not capable of flying. Okay. Ooh, there's a chest there. Those over to Asterion. Ah. I did not want you. Oh, wait, there's people. There's friendlies in here. Okay. Let's, uh,. Everyone can't get over there, so we'll do this instead. Okay, well you two, you two got stuck. I guess Asterion should. Oh, where is Asterion? Asterion is here. Let's lockpick this. Thirty, you say? A thirty still isn't that hard. <laughs> the fact that we're failing is just amazing. There we go. No one stopped me yet. With haste. If you're going to do it, just make it quick. Just break the door. Painless. Uh, I'm not here to kill you. Get out of here. I'm not here to kill you're you. Not? I'm the good guy. What? You're a mind flayer. Yeah, 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 I know. This reason I'm a mind flayer, uh, you think that I'm emerging. So, uh, didn't you hear? I'm a mind flayer that's going to save you all. Um, sure. We'll just go. Run! <laughs> 
Note to the kitchen staff. Okay. That does work too. Point taken. All right. Come on, everybody, let's go. I just realized we don't have shovel in the mix here. There's no excuse for not having shovel. Wait, did we lose our shovel ability? No, there it is. We can't finish the run without shovel. Got a big door there. Okay. Wait, where's Orpheus? Uh oh. Good job, Orpheus. The answer is apparently yes, in Lustrous. You can indeed summon him. Lockpicking impossible. Medium toughness, not fire resistant. So let's My just. Will guide me. Zap that. Okay, what's what's in here though? This tower is mysterious. Why have a? Hmm. This is curious. Are the windows breakable? Doesn't look like it. Okay, maybe they just don't want us going in there? I don't know. No, but there's nothing else over here. There must be a button or something. Let me let me put on my perception shield just in case. Actually baffled. I mean, this this clearly looks like it slides, right? Got to be a button somewhere. There's a tendril. Yeah, I mean, there's there's like a pocket door here. Can't call forth an ally outside of combat. There's no way this isn't a thing. Well, but this wasn't a place we could never go to High Hall Courtyard before this. So... At least I don't think so. Oh, wait, but we can... Oh, technically from here... There was, there is a path. There's a path through here. Okay, we'll, we'll try this, this way here. So from here we can jump up to here, it looks like. Who didn't make it? Freaking shovel. OK. 
Okay, we'll loop back around to the door so Shovel can go over here. How much farther can I go? We'll need to get closer though, up through the ruins. So, someone suggested which way to go. I don't remember if it was left or right. I'm going to go left, though. Oh, brain stem. Wait, what is this? Which, which direction do you... This is not the place. We must find somewhere higher up to begin the climb. Oh. Oh, hi. Nautilite. Need to get to the brain. No! So, where's. Where's the fight here? Hold on, what's going on? Let's turn someone inside out. Uh, this looks like a big red circle. Outmaneuver them. Let's not stand in the big red circle. Here's my theory on the best use for Orpheus. I'm gonna have him sprint and open the door so that maybe we can get some other shots off. Oh, it's a locked door. Dang it. We're gonna stand here so that we're not standing in the circle of fire, I guess. Nothing will stand in my way. Also, are we no longer illithid? Why are we not flying? Mysteries of the universe. Shovel, I'm glad you're here. All right, you're gonna move. Shovel, you're gonna move to here. I will ascend. Lazel, you're going all the way up. I'm ready. Shadowheart, you're gonna Seems hopefully enough. jump to here. I should get this long strider problem sorted out. Very awkward. I also don't know if these red circles do anything. There's there's not a lot of information on the on there. I assume at some point someone's gonna drop the bomb here. To strike. Let's finish this. Okay, this would be I think them firing those things, so hopefully we aren't standing in it. Okay. Okay, still hit us. Punch this door down. It's medium toughness. Okay, 
may as well just lockpick it. Let's see what your stunning strike is all about. <laughs> Perfect. Absolutely flawless. Stunning strike is is probably great, but falling falling over was also pretty uh, pretty great. Yeah, the fact that they took away my long strider is, uh, I mean, I should have just put it back on, obviously, my but. Be true. This is your end. Oh, actually, hold on. Even better thing to do. No time to waste. We're not, gonna, we're not gonna be able to make it all the way there, I don't think, to use our, uh... Hello? See what we have here. You got a shot? Nope, too far. Disappointing. Can I attack the Nautiloid? Seems like I can. Is it attacking every turn? It, it says that it's not, but hopefully I didn't. Now only the Nautiloid remains, and it looks like we're headed up, up, and away. But we'll stop here to make sure that everyone kind of gets, gets to safety. Shuffle, you have you have a problem, and your problem is that you're slow. We're not we may not be out of combat again for a while, which is unfortunate. jump up here. Um, well, the targeting is a little awkward here. Oh my goodness. There are not a lot of, not a lot of safe spots to tuck ourselves, are there? Sometimes the only way out is through. Not some... Angelic Reprieve. It looks like this little ledge here is probably the best place for us to end up. No time to waste. So that's a weird that's a weird way to run there, Blazel. Take it on the chin. I mean we certainly could. Me. 
shovel, you can run to here. They won't expect this. All right. All right, end turn, I guess. Another fight. Let's go. We're gonna watch like five minutes of, of explosions here. Oh, get wrecked. I didn't realize there were a bunch of uh, brain thingies down there. I have this odd feeling that this is gonna be like multiple salvos. Okay, yeah, so so we don't, it's hard to know which ones are gonna land when. Okay, maybe they're all going now. Seems like things are still exploding. Those are behind us. I think we can. I think we can safely. Well, maybe we can have Asterion like pepper them backwards a little bit. No, they're too far away. Um, so let's just let's just get everybody up here. Get some progress made. Survival is all that matters. With haste. See, now we could have peppered him. Shovel! Reunite. This guy went out of his way to kill Shovel. But also our our owl bear cub was the wrong one. I'm gonna do. Wait, right, white. Oh yeah, that's wrong person. Okay. Who should we Who should we use to take them out? That might That might come in handy later. Where are the assassins? I want to see the assassins. Lady Lockjaw and Lady Croup. Okay. On I go. Take two. Dominate. Okay. So Asterion, do you have shots on this guy? All right. I am gonna backtrack a little bit because revenge is important to me. Excuse me. You. Amazing. Let's move. Okay, let's see what these two do. Nice. All right. That's what I'm talking about. I will take that. are not blowing me away. Okay, 100% Banelings. Got it. Understood. Not enough movement.
sorry for summoning you into uh, into certain death, but we needed to avenge Shovel. this this looks like a good thing that we want to stand in where are the, the bad guys are all down there oh uh oh all right, let's, what happens if i just stand in this oh, i guess we'll, we'll find out I'm super bummed that our owl bear didn't do anything. On the move. Okay, Bard, what are you gonna do? Ooh, blindness on the mind flare. Interesting. Shall be done. So this looks more like it. Oh. Hello. I'm kind of curious what this fight looks like in other... Oh, maybe this is a reinforcement beacon? Did Orpheus just take a hit? Yeah. Maybe this is reinforcements? Yes, it is. Okay. It looked like a friendly thing. Starion just flew off the friggin' map. I guess that was unclear. But now it is clear. So can I eat this guy's brains? Looks like I can. guys explode, so I think we step out. One off lethal. Not my not my favorite thing that has been done. Yeah, we're gonna take a big hit from the exploding. We might as well let's take these out before they get to be too problematic. Okay, so that's that's everybody. Let's do this. Let's drink uh, our biggest health bot. Try and get you healthy. This is annoying, though. Like, do we just go through the doors? She's definitely not winning. Maybe this, this gets us there. But the thing that I don't know is, 
Are we now heading into the main fight? Okay. Hopefully we're all just up here. Why is everyone not here? I hope by walking him in... Okay, we are all here. All right. Okay, so it looks like... This is a good opportunity to do this. Word of Shield of Faith. Oh, we don't have anyone with Long Strider, do we? No, I think I actually I take that back. I think we do have I think we do have it here. We need to get this before we go any further. Huh? Maybe we don't. No long strider. All right. Yes, we will. I mean, we haven't used that many spells, but we will. Uh, we'll do it. There we go. Can we please open your bag? What is going on here? All right. Thank you. It took forever. Did we use any on Shadow Heart? But we're just we're just gonna long rest up with everybody, so everybody is fully ready to go. the chest on our way out. Oh, how nice. A few little extra goodies. That is a nice thing to have in a chest. Uh, all right. I guess, I guess it's go time. All right. I, I know not what comes next, but we are going to click the brainstem. Are you ready to face another brain? Ready as I've ever been. We're looking good, and by good I mean bad. Okay, of all the things, I did not expect to see a Mind Flayer climbing up the spinal cord. And by a Mind Flayer, I mean us, but still. Can't we fly? That's a long climb. Uh, do we all not get to go along? It certainly seems like the dragon could just give us a hand here. Our, our muscles are not made for this. We're a mind flare. Uh, okay, everyone made it up, apparently. Is the crown of Carsus, the site of power, the site of domination. That's it! We have to use the nether stones on the crown. It's the only hope we have. Of, and here he is, the betrayer. I know you. 
I saw you in my dreams. Oh. So he has a corrupted I dragon? Know I know everything. Did that happen in a cutscene that I missed? Your thoughts. Your feelings. Your weaknesses. And so do they. The crown! Cast the spell on it! An actual freaking dominated dragon. So we have two of you guys. We got the the dream guardians. Never a dull moment. How much how much can we pull in with this? Can we get both of you? No. So are we are we surrounded too? Immune to fire. Legendary action, Draconic Fury. Okay, so. Lots, lots to decide here. We have the Emperor who has a volatile, who has astral gravity and volatile shield. Affected entity has been granted temporary hit points by an, uh, by an Illithid. If these are removed by incoming damage, shield bursts. Stunning. Okay. So the, and it is, it's stunning things nearby, right? Nearby foes. Okay, so. This feels good. Are we kill? Are we killing the dragon? There's like a lot of illithid. Where are they all? Okay. I think we might be able to kill a dream guardian here. So I think we start with this. Fletcher's favor caused us to take no damage from that. That was awfully nice. The miss is hilarious, as always. Let's get a potion of speed going. Since we didn't get the first kill, we have a lot to gain from this potion of speed. There we go. Now we have more actions. So now Lazel gets to... Lazel doesn't have enough movement. Really? What about this thing? Can we... I don't know how big the, the fire spot is on this. I guess let's just do this. Definitely, definitely crank that. Emperor is down. Does that really mean that the dragon isn't on our team now? <laughs> Guess not. Blood comes easy these days. I don't think we can get any more of these illithids around the perimeter pulled in right now. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we, we start with a black hole. Hitting the four of these guys. 
then we recognize that for some reason we're encumbered. And I decide how we're going to fix that before I move. Shadowheart has some space, so let's just... The heavy stone is not actually that heavy, but... Now we'll just take this stuff. Okay, there we go. So I think I'm gonna fly to here. And we're just gonna do a we're just gonna do a mind blast. Where is that one? Which one is mind blast? Doesn't quite reach the dragon, but. Orpheus. Now you have secondly dominant black hole reverberate displace. Do we think we can stun this thing? I don't see anything major that's indicating that we can't. So the dragon succeeded the saving throw. We were kind of close on it, honestly. Okay. Let's let's advance so that we can get some mind flayers next turn. Okay, those are slightly annoying. Move, move here. Still got tendrils to deal with, but where's divine intervention? Is that a spell that I needed to put on my bar? Or no, that's a channel divinity, right? Maybe it's not. What is the dragon's con stat? Twenty-five. What's our what's our plan here? Those didn't do much. The tentacles are a little annoying. Makes sense why he didn't get stunned. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Let's get let's get some summons out here. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on here. I think hit you with the sanctuary, and I'm gonna run her out into the center. I think we can we can provoke an opportunity attack here with the with the diva. So as to not get everybody nuked, but I think it might be better if we like flew to behind the dragon, because I think it's like a cone AoE. Good job. Alright, well, that didn't work. No need to get hushed. Uh, oh yeah, we use our 
Nautiloid is on the way. We'll appear in four turns. Okay, so we're going to have to get moving on the rest of the stuff. Hang in there, Orpheus. Okay, these guys are all just cheeky magic missile casters. Got it. Okay. Orpheus is having a bad time, it seems. I kind of wanted the, uh, well, I guess it's killing, it's killing stuff, so I can't complain too much. Uh, let's... We'll do that, and then... How much does this do? This is doing up to 90 damage, so we could just one-shot this guy. Or get double, double troubled. Okay. Can I pull the illithids off of here? Maybe I can. Let's try that. Didn't didn't quite work the way that I wanted to there. Now, Asterion, you have you have a misty step. Which I think I'm going to use to... We're going to take an opportunity attack, but... Okay, that's what those opportunity attacks do. Got it. Noted. Oh, so that did not even cost you... Huh, that's interesting. The gnawing horde has arrived to distract. This does 4 to 40. These guys all have 41. How convenient. that definitely secures the kill. At least on these two, I'll do that. I want to get... So remember that that definitely secures the kill thing? Guess that was a no-go. Oh, Orpheus is just dead dead? Man, I thought I could bring him back. Stop her from doing that so we can still do stuff up here. I do kind of want to kill the dragon, but Orpheus being dead really changes the end game here. Stunned is not great. For, not great for business. My dance macabre! Well, we may just lose our first attempt here from the looks of it. I'll send them off. You need to take control of the nether brain. Get to the crown and cast the spell. Now! I'm trying to. I'm stunned. 
I'm losing my turn here. Always hilarious. Always hilarious. Okay, close, but no cigar. Too far away? Can we do that? Yes, that did not heal the thing that I wanted that to heal. This will dampen the pain. Take your heal. Very cool. Time to deal some punishment. Ooh, that didn't hit very hard. Silenced. That's probably not going to be good for us. Well, so as a reminder, just, just to throw this out there, we, we also have, uh, like, max... Oh, I should have gotten Starion back up. We have max charisma, or max uh, constitution, too. We're at, we're at 23 con, and we're, we've failed two in a row. I don't think... I don't think there's much hope for us. Perfect. Nailed it. Now ah, we'll see. It's not over until it's over. But yeah, I think killing these three back, uh, back folks was the actual key. Like, these four are the real thing that's blocking you from doing this. You should probably do the end run around and move past them. Okay, so a Nautiloid appeared. That's not, I don't, maybe that's the end of the world. Until the bitter end. Until the bitter end. No choice but to keep going. We can still get interrupted. Feel like we got interrupted? Ah, that's what that's designed for. The magic missiles are to prevent you from being able to channel because they're guaranteed hits. I was like, why are the mind flayers all doing that?
weak way. We're not out of it yet. <laughs> we're, we're definitely out of it, but... <laughs> oh, they all have that. Ah, uh, that's gonna be a problem. Yep, shoulda, shoulda had, I mean, would have been nice if Shadowheart was still alive, but. I mean, it's killing the Illithids, not me, so. I'm, I'm kind of curious if we can still do this. If the stuff that gets summoned isn't that bad, we might. aren't doing much. La Lazel might be the hero of Baldur's Gate after all. Okay, if they keep adding more Mind Flayers, though, we're probably going to get counterspelled every time we try and revive, and it will indeed be over. Um, so, here's what I think we do. I think we have to... I think we have to drink a Speed Potion... So, and then we have to kill this guy in three hits. Not a good start. He's definitely going to counterspell, so I think we need to keep going on him. Took one too many hits. If we can, if we can get off, I'm curious too. Yeah, this guy's going to get too, he's probably going to get too close. Well, that's better because now maybe we can do three and three. Oh, wait a second. Wait a sec, so you're saying there's a chance. This guy still looks awfully healthy for, uh, for, for being not able to. So I, I need to kill this guy, I think. Thank you for saving that. Now I'm going to get as far away as I can. Throw our biggest healing potion. Taking position. Then we're going to move to like here in hopes that the dragon targets us. We can't call forth any allies right now. Keep on hitting her, buddy. Okay, we 
got another Mind Flayer that I need to work on. Okay, so it's scuffed. It's scuffed, but it it matches perfectly what I what I dreamt of. Okay, so we have an action this turn. Oh, okay, this is tough. Um, there's no scroll of sanctuary, right? No, and there's no potion that gives sanctuary effects. Uh, okay, so I think bonus action has got to be more healing. I got to keep us from going down again. Have to keep going. Now Lazel Having done what she has done, I think we do call for allies. What allies do we think are going to be the most distracting? It could, it could also it could also just be the Inferno here. So what does this do? Set what, twelve to seventy-two damage. I really need I need the Mind Flayer distracted or dead more than anything. We have two actions, so maybe we. I think we run down here. And I'm going to start out with Rays of Fire. If I can get a shot off. Okay. Now with the second action. Command a red dragon of Supreme Kithrak Voss to breathe fire onto the battlefield. This doesn't seem very targetable. Roland's Firestorm. This sounds like it does a lot of damage. Let's see that. I know it's not going to do any to the dragon, but... But I'm fine with that. And then with her bonus action... I don't think there's anything else we can do to protect our main hero. So... I... I did not see a concentration break, did I? I think we're still channeling. Lustrous. Absolute freedom. This is it. Its will is weakening. So Okay, the brain is resisting the chains of Karsis. Defeat it before it breaks free. So I have to do 450 damage. And Lazelle is not here. Can she can she come in? I guess is the first question. Enter the portal to the Nether Brain Psyche. Can't control incapacitated. Why is she incapacitated? Oh, she's lethargic. Okay. So she can, she can come in next turn and start helping, I guess. But what? Okay. 
I should be able to extract brain on the brain, don't you think? Did I- I unlearned Artistry of War and I never added it back again. Oh, also, we have a bunch of spell slots. Hilarious. Okay, that would have been useful. Does this do anything now? It doesn't look like it does. We can self-cast haste, but let's just drink a potion. We have five turns, uh, so we shouldn't- we shouldn't drink the potion yet. We have no allies available in here. Yeah, so we're going to have... This does 5 to 34. We could transform into a Displacer Beast. I don't think that does very much damage, though. I think this is the best we can do, is start doing some Banishing Arrows. We just took 37 damage as, as a response. Well, that's going to make the second part of the fight a little hard. <laughs> Very well. Also, did we lose our secondary action or does this take both? Uh, this takes both. So phase two of this isn't going to go very well, it looks like. <laughs> I was thinking about having uh, Lazel try and get some more people up, but it doesn't look like that's going to be a thing. Is she at least... Are you mobile yet, Lazel? What? What is going on? Can I not? Okay, I can switch to her. She can't jump right now, so I guess... So is she going to take 30... I think she's going to take 30 damage if she, uh... If she hits it. So she's just going to start throwing potions. That's her plan. Stored up for for all time. I will give it. It's a low chance to hit. I mean, I think we still need to do it. I don't think there was another choice there. Obey. She does not have action surge anymore. I already used it, unfortunately. Um. Okay. Also, a problem that the the platforms are going to all go away. I don't like that very much. It seems like she can't jump to anywhere without taking a ton of damage and falling prone and losing her turn. Okay, 
so she can throw a potion of speed, presumably, on herself. That's my that's my new plan. Uh, don't speed it though. Hold on. Can you move a little further away? Does does this not work the way that I think it does? If you throw a potion of speed, well, I need to look this up. Okay. Uh, does throwing a potion of speed work? Throw the potion to grant hasten to all creatures in the area. Okay, it looks like it does, even though it's not showing it. this? It's weird that I can't. <sighs> yes, yeah, why can't I, why can't I upcast Vanishing Strike? Or with this one? Is it because I used my bonus action already? No. Level 5 spell slot, but it can be upcast. Alright, well... Time to strike. I'm I'm still concerned about the, the throwing the potion, but I guess we just have to try it. Ah, maybe, maybe we hit ourselves with a quick save here. And then we'll try it, just to see, just in case it doesn't work. That did not appear to work. All right. That's, yeah, that's weird. That's inconsistent. All right, I guess we just start hitting it then. Oh, mine broken, so she can't do anything after we do that. I see. Okay, so that's not very fun. How the heck are you supposed to do this if, if you can only hit for so much each turn? Okay, so only the first person to hit does that. So we should we should have Lazel hit second. Victory awaits. You have five party members usually? I mean, sure. We need to we need to do we need to hit with you first. Twenty five damage is better than nothing. Two D six force. I mean, just hitting you with the nebulous black hole. Are these things can we do anything to these orbs? It doesn't seem like we can. They don't even seem targetable. Alright, well... If that's the case, I guess we just lead with this. And that didn't stop you from, from attacking more, eh? You'll be stronger than ever. I will ascend. Alright. 
Let's let's see if she gets charmed and she can only hit once. Cause that would be a bummer. Oh, you break. <laughs> Invalid target? Excuse me? Okay, so if we're going to be flying anyways, we might as well do this last hit. We need to get over to that, though, for... just realized the the HPs are a little scary right now. If the haste drops because we die, I think that's GG. I I tried to go behind the brain. I could literally could not get a could not get a visual on it. I tried. Okay, so you... Okay, so Lazel is now going to fly to here. Awkward. Okay. Okay, she has, she has actions, but we need... I think we need you to drink a big potion. Because if you... If we lose haste, it's, it's over. It's big old GG. Now... Nebulous Black Hole. I, I can't find a place... I guess I can target it over here. Is it even going to hit him? Doesn't look like... I don't see a targeting reticle, so I don't think I can risk that. Uh, we do have this Banishing Melee. That we can do. So I think we're going to... I think we're all coming over here. Hastened lost? That's not a concentration spell. Actually, what happened? No, no, no. This is this is a bug. It is a concentration spell. Okay, we'll, we'll go back. I. Why is that a why? Oh, because it banishes. Ah. Oh. Disaster. I think we still have it. That was just that was just bad reading. Should have double checked. Okay, so we're back here. We can't haste her right now. Ups and downs are intense at the moment. Okay. Can't use reaction mind broken. When did she get my did she get mind broken the first time anyone hit? Was it the last time she she failed the saving throw? Man, ugh. Okay, so the mind break doesn't matter who tar who it targets. Like whoever hits it, it mind breaks everyone if they don't fail a DC. So. So if she just if she's just getting mind broken consistently, we're like, we're doomed. It's a DC 25. Jeez. Alright. Well, so the best thing we can do then is get her up here. Sometimes the only way out is through. 
And there's no point in doing haste right now. So I'm going to try and conserve that platform for the time being. turn where she has... Oh, you're still going to get rid of those platforms? Amazing. Alright, so, so we're going to... This is going to be... We're going to have a hard time here, but I guess the best we can do is come over here. And we might as well just hit the guy and see if we get mine broken. There's really no place else to go, so... <sighs> Target's too far. Uh, I think it's about the same as it was last time. No target. Target is too far. Why is target too far? I am fury. I am death. This is infuriating. Oh, I can't even catch my breath. All right, then I guess it's just gonna be. That, and then. Next turn, if we get mine broken, yeah, we're just ruined. The mine break mechanic is kind of sucky. It just means like your team, your team basically loses turns. Okay, so we have two turns here. So what we're gonna do? Is we're gonna we're gonna try this banishing smite melee first. Target is too far. I I'm losing my freaking mind here. Okay, apparently it just works. Not Lazel. All right. That's GG on that one. Um, <sighs> hmm. I mean, if we had the whole team, it would be a different animal, obviously, but we could still lose all of our turns. Uh, okay, so... Mind broken every time. Cool, cool, cool. Important is ever easy. That certainly seems like it's just always happening consistently. Um, So what is, what is the save on that? Because that's probably the thing that you want to prepare for most. So it's an intelligent save, it looks like. No wonder Lazelle can't do it to save her life. Um, I guess we could put the warp headband of whatever on her.
So I'm coming up here in hopes that I'm conserving land, but I don't think I, I don't think it matters. No, well, but but this is the thing in Lustrous. Every turn, you're potentially losing everyone's turns, right? That's the thing. Okay, but we did save this platform, which gives us an extra turn this time. We have more arterial mesh to, to work with. But unfortunately, I think... I think our best play right now is to wonder if this is worth the cost. Just grab some some big health pots. With Lazel and make sure we're topped off. Can't reach destination. Super interesting. Super duper interesting. In my best interest. One hit per turn because of mind mind shatter. You love to see it. It could just as easily target all of these next time, and we're we're out of luck. But This looks like it targets the, the meshes, so I, I don't think I can do that. Um, One turn of not being mind broken and it's a win. That's what's so frustrating. Like, all Lazel has to do is survive once. And, wait, maybe I have an idea how. What if we haste her? And, okay, so last platforms are going away. Yeah, so it's, it's now or never. So we could haste her and put on the warped headband of intellect. Is that insane? It's a little insane. But why not? Gets her int up to 17 from... From 9. This is my first try, yeah, Buffalo. But we've, we've done a couple reloads because there's been some some jank both in my... Uh, my decision making and other things gain skill proficiency and skill of chosen ability that doesn't work uh, so is there any platform left there's not oh no there is there's this one over here can we get to it yes we can okay so the fight is not over Yeah, well, let's let's try the high roll. I am death. Okay. No dice.
we're we're potentially cooked. I'm imagining trying to have Orpheus survive here, but we, I mean we have another turn, so it's like. So we keep her up and operational. We can we can drink a potion ourselves. Yeah, yeah, we have one more turn. Where did where did all those potions go? Okay, here we go. Let's get three of these over here. So we'll keep ourselves healthy. And then these bone chills have been doing okay work. We are gonna be, I think we are gonna have lethargy next turn on uh, on our main. Like I think, I think the haste might run out. Oh, this says last round. Oh, I think we, I think we're, I think we're boned. So we, we have, we had platforms left, but we didn't have, uh, we didn't have enough. Yeah, I th so it is over. We lose. 28 away. Yeah, I, I missed that part, Buffalo. Time to start the game over, yeah, indeed. We might have had it without the potion. We might have. We we also have it if ever Lazel survived a mind shatter. Yeah. I, I didn't realize I only had one turn left. So Doppel, you don't want me to reload? What's what's the alternative? <laughs> go all the way back? I would like to do the fight again at some point, but I think I'm gonna give this one more go. Cause this is like the this is the true ending. This is the scuffed fight that we always expected. Yeah, so this was three turns remaining. And it's just like... Mind shatter... Mind shatters all the way down. So see, but with her, because of the mind shatter, I feel like I should throw a potion first. Well, if we get a full turn, we get a full turn. Clown Fiesta all the way to the end. Yep, it never, it never ceases to amaze. Oh, and this time we don't have that one available. Okay, so. Let's go. Well, we don't have a lot of things that do a lot more damage than Bone Shell. We we only have the magic missile that's on our on our item, unfortunately, so we cannot. But I do think uh, saving our luck of the far far realms for the uh, for the banishment melee might be good. But yeah, I I I did, and then I came in here with no wizard spells, uh, Buffalo. So yes, fight scuffed fight is scuffed indeed. So let's see. So I do have disintegrate scrolls. I actually have a lot of scrolls now that I think about it. That's such a good call. I have like a, a staggering number of scrolls. <laughs> but then I have to use consumables. And it's 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 a price I'm I'm willing to pay in this moment of uh, of weakness. All right, so everybody with their bonus action is just gonna drink a dang potion. To keep everybody healthy. I'm fury. I'm yeah, disintegrate is definitely the play. But first let's see if we get a turn with Lazel. Of course not. Still on my feet. 
So now over here, I think we drink a speed potion so we can do two disintegrates. Obviously. Actually, I think we get to do three disintegrates. Well, that might have been that might have been a better solution than what we were doing. <laughs> do do I have any scrolls? This is the question that plagues us. All right, I'll grab my nine disintegrate scrolls. It feels bad. <laughs> it was much easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> yep. That's that's just poetry. That's poetry. Asses. Thank you, Doppel. <laughs> Join me. Well, now I only have Hear six me. disintegrate scrolls. Become absolute. Order it to die. Do it now before it's too late. Oh God! Imagine, imagine the betrayal. Oh, imagine the betrayal. Dominate the brain. Become the absolute. Conquer the world. After all of the good we have done, imagine. We, we're on the good ending. Oh, Orpheus is back alive. How nice. Hopes, nightmares, and the screams of legions upon legions of unborn methods. The pain rips through you, obliterating all thought, all feeling. Yeah, you spend a whole campaign Never change. Uh, I mean, I think at this point I'm old and incapable of it. I did. I did Buffalo. Yes. I did. I wanted. Uh, I wanted. Uh... Silence. For the first time in a long time, your thoughts are entirely your own. I wanted Orpheus to be able to lead the Yankee people. Gravity. I'm just a random schmo. But I will say, there were some pretty epic moments there. And I think if we had used more Disintegrate Scrolls, the epic moments would have, uh, would have panned out. Hey, Screen Shake, how you doing? Yeah, we, we could have, we could have technically won on our first attempt, I think. If we had remembered, uh, if we had remembered our scrolls. But Doppel didn't remind me fast enough. Just some fishermen doing fishermen things. Oh. You just had to ruin their boat? The people at Larian, they're just vindictive. That was a fun ending. Despite the despite the misplays and everything else. Pitchfork M. Yes.
Okay, you got more work to do. Don't stop pitchforking now. That's the real hero of Baldur's Gate. That pitchfork. The real hero of Baldur's Gate was the pitchforks we collected along the way, everyone. It was worth it for this. Sorcerer Sundries needs a uh, needs a bit of a contractor. Yeah, so Orpheus gets to live, even though I let the uh, the red dragon eat him. Good deal. They're draining, just like Mazora said they would. But the horns? A small price to pay in the grand scheme of things. We did it. The nether brain is dead. I can't feel the tadpole. They must have all died with the brain. That means I can't turn into a mind flayer. I commanded it to kill all the tadpoles. Not she wasn't listening. There's necessarily anything wrong with being a mind flayer, of course. God, we are ugly. Oh. <laughs> this is the ugliest mind flare. <laughs> I did what was necessary. That was very insensitive of you. Uh, I did what was necessary. I will ensure that all Githyanki know your name and your sacrifice. Well, they're hunting you. What you have done today will start a fire that rages across the astral plane. I'm putting up wanted posters. Thanks, Orpheus. With their lost prince returned, my people will burn away Vlakith's corruption. And it is all thanks to you, the Illithid who defied a nether brain. The be best Illithid in all the land. Make sure people know that. <laughs> who I was before. Couldn't have done it alone. Remember my friends when you remember me. Let it be known to all your people, not all mind flayers are alike. We'll go with remember my friends too. He's been he's been in captivity for a long wish, time. My savior. He's also a little twitchy at the moment. Thanks, Red Dragons. Bye. My people are leaving, and I must leave with them. Come, Lazel. We will free the Githyanki and dismantle the Empire. Let them be imprisoned no longer. All right, your duty, uh, your duty is to your people, Lazel. Uh, this is your choice to make, not mine. I entrust you. She should make the choice. Then I must go with the prince. I will never be free while my people are still bound by Vlakith's chains. Your will is strong, Rastel. Your name will be etched in our slates. You will be called Mlagir, Liberator. Orpheus. Why is I everyone so wibbly wobbly? <laughs> Julius! Julius! Oh, did he just call two dragons? Because you can't, you can't have people sharing dragons.
Does Orpheus, like, surf on the dragon? He looks like he's about to. Knowing Farewell, luck. Jestil, my liberator. Is Lizelle's first time riding on a dragon? With the Githyanki gone, there's nothing left but the silence of the city. Smoldering, waiting to be rebuilt. Oh, now we fly again. You We're hobbling around for a while. Flare, the very thing you sought to eradicate. Whatever self you possess is quickly ebbing away. Your friends and enemies alike are ripe for manipulation. And if not manipulation, then consumption. No, she Soon was will not be able she was to on trust a ledge. yourself at all. You will be a monstrosity beyond redemption. Or not. Perhaps you are unique among illithid kind. Perhaps you will retain enough of who you are to resist your nature. A rogue mind flayer. Like the Emperor. Yeah, I assumed that was the case. Take. Will you? So wait, like I can just end myself right now? Uh, the risk to others is too great. Take your own life? What? Trust that everything will be fine. How could it not be? You will survive, but you'll be ready to take your life if you feel the slightest loss of control. Eh, I'm just going to say embrace it. Your fate will be what you make of it. Now you are your own master. But it seems that Gale's mind is elsewhere. The crown. It's somewhere in the Giontha. If I salvage the stones, I can reforge it. With the crown in my hands, I would be unstoppable. The casts I weave would be mine to command. I would be more than the greatest wizard who ever lived. I would be a god. <laughs> Good luck, Gale. Don't forget me when you're a god. Sure. It's I who should be saying such things. Do not think I leave you without a heart as heavy as your own. But I owe it to myself to follow where destiny leads. I'll never forget you. That I promise. And if you ever felt differently, there will be a place waiting for you in the heavens. Yeah, turn into a god. Oh, that was a weird piece of newspaper. Turn into a god and then cure me. And all to impress a former lover. Gale should do as Minsk did and stop at the face tattoo. Mistra no longer wishes to share his bed. Boo doubts she will wish to share the mastery of all magic with him instead. But let the wizard wet his robes in the river, if that is his wish. So, what now? I don't know about you, but I could use a flagon or three of ale. <laughs> First sensible thing anyone has said. <laughs> I'll stay in the city. The world could use a mind flare with good intentions. Let's get out of this city. The Underdark calls to me, sure. Answer it then, but you'll be going without me. I'm sorry. There was always going to be a moment when your sacrifice caught up with you. A threshold beyond which you would have to venture alone. Welcome back, Sam. This is that moment. Jeez. You are a mind flare after all. You will have the rest of your long years ahead to understand what that means. Meanwhile, your allies have rather... Inferior plans of their own. I don't see her anywhere. I honestly don't mind what we do once we get to the... Ow! What the... Oh, no. Oh, Someone God. throw a towel over him. Well, it was... It was nice when it lasted. Ah, I, I'm sorry. I, I have to go. 
Astarian will keep to the dark now, I wager. At least, he'll find plenty to feast on. There she is. There's our girl. We did it, soldier. The city's going to be all right. <laughs> we run up to her like she's already talking to us. So are you. Engine's finally cooked. Held on just long enough. Yeah. I hear you, Sam. So, how'd I do? You were in combat once. <laughs> you were spectacular in every way. So are you. My friend. My companion. I adore you. We are so ugly. Careful! Hot! I never gave up. I did my best. I did my best. Oh, it's the one thing I can't beat, isn't it? I wanted to live in my city with my friends. The living, and I saw. <laughs> Goodbye, son. Goodbye, sea. Goodbye. No, stop. I won't allow this. Karlak, you're coming with me back to Avernus. We can't let her die. Not like this. Yeah. Not now. You can't. It's your decision, Karlak. You have to choose. Will will go with you. Zeriel won't be able to touch you. Uh, let's go with that. It's your decision. So, what do you say? Die here now, or live on with the blade of Avernus at your side. Zariel won't touch you. I swear it, Karlak. Fine. Okay. I'll go. Well, with you. But we have to go. Now. I can't hang on much longer. It's over, and it's all because of you. Bring out your dead. You, who were destined to become a thrall. Thanks to you, there will be no illithid empire, no death god's tyranny. You have earned your place amongst the legends of the Sword Coast. That's Balderon, that's not me. The saviors of Baldur's Gate. Thank you, Sam. This is a fun one. Yeah, I love this game. It's beautiful. Well, soldier. Here we are. It worked. My engines calmed down. We should have really geared her up. I mean, she certainly seems happy.
I mean, I have space to skip. Should I, should I skip? Will smiling. All right. I shouldn't have let you come here. This isn't going to be easy, you know. Zara's going to come at us with everything she's got. Do I need to do it again? <laughs> The music is pretty good. Gods, like clockwork. They'll be on us soon, but there's just enough time. <laughs> Thought I was done with these. <laughs> but then, there was you. Be great if she just smoked both of them and didn't offer one to Will. Also, every single time having hit space is hilarious here. The the awkward pauses. Imps are fast but careless. Don't let them tire you out. Just get rid of them, and don't forget. You asked for this. Better let these fuckers know I'm back, and this time, I'm not alone. You didn't have these pauses on your ending. There have been a lot of special things. Now space isn't working though, just, just for the record. Oh, well, there it goes. Oh. Since the nether brain fell, you have continued to evolve. Thought is action. Action is thought. Speech is difficult. Your mind has voyaged to the limits of existence, communing with entities unique and wondrous. But something always calls it back. Back to Faerun. Back to yourself. Back to the beginning. The time before you became what you are. When your tadpole first sang in your mind, you are back there once again when a voice comes to you. With us, who you know so well. It is time, he says, to meet with your allies once again. You dream of them often. And now you will see if your dreams Oof. have become their reality. Oof, Sam. Oof. Lazelle's an astral projection? Come on, she couldn't even show up in person? Also, why am I not hovering? That's like the only thing I get to do. Thou wert called here, some from above, some below. For with thine bond, Together thou hast kept the wheel of fate spinning when it threatened to halt. Though thou wert drawn far apart in the months after the collapse of the Absolute, tonight fate renews thy bond once more. Thou shouldst take care to preserve it. It is a great weapon wielded in the hand of good. Go. Know one another once more. The second time I summoned the owl bear and it was back to being a baby, I was that was like the worst moment of all. Okay. Talk with animals. 
with the past. Friend? Friend! You came! Big Brother Scratch, too! Happy! And what have you been doing Lots. since last year, Matt? Make friends with a turtle, a cat, a kraken. Kraken eats my cat friend, so I bite, kill. With shiny clothes, I am strong. Tired now. Want sleep? Want cave? Sounds like you need someone to look after you. How about Shadowheart? Nice lady. She gives pets and tasty things. I like her. I go to her. There you are. I was hoping you'd make your way over. Scratch buddy? A familiar sight. <laughs> Scratch can't quite speak around the thing he has in his mouth. The astral prism? I love it. What have you got this time, Scratch? found this. It smelled like you, so I kept it. Seemed like something you might like to throw? I'd be happy to. But first, oh, how have you been? I've been so good. I've got a nice home in the city now. A girl named Mindy says I'm her best friend. She's mine too. Also you and Albert. I've got so many best friends, I hardly know who to play with. I'm so glad you've fared well since our travels. I certainly have. And I always will. Forever, I think. And so will you. He is indeed. Alright. So where is where is that? Inert astral prism. Go get it, buddy. He doesn't play fetch with it. What a disappointment. Where'd the owlbear go also? Keeping us all on tenterhook so you could make a dramatic entrance, is it? Can't click on her. Starting to wonder if you'd show up. Of course I did. You lot could hardly manage without me. I'm wondering the same of you. I didn't think you'd want to be within tentacles reach of me again. Say that with a straight face after all the times I had to come to your aid. Well, come here, will you? It's been forever. Careful, I might eat your brains. Kind of slimy, I suspect. Hmm. You feel a little more substantial than before. Less camping and scrounging off the land, I take it. Yes, I've been eating brains a lot. I'll take that as a compliment. You look good, too. I suppose I do, don't I? I'm glad you seem well. Trudy. Tell me what you've been up to. Wondering, mostly. The adventuring life is almost a tonic when you're not constantly threatened by brain monsters and cultists. I can finally see the world beyond the cloister. Nice. Sounds like you're doing right by yourself. I like to think so. Choosing my own path is still something of a novelty for me, but at least I'm free to make my she own is mistakes. Sam. One of my first stops was the House of the Moon in Waterdeep. It's the largest temple of Saluna in existence. It seemed like the perfect spot to reflect on my parents. <laughs> the owl bear in the background. And where I came from too, I suppose. Hard to imagine, isn't it? Me, of all people, in the lair of the Moon Witch herself. God, you're truest act of heroism was putting up with all that char and drivel I was spouting for so long. It is true. Your parents would be proud of you. Oh, I know they are. I can still sense them, I think. And one day we'll be reunited. I know, I need to pet him. I need to go back. Oh, 
What's next for I don't you? Know. Which is just the way I like it just now. Perhaps I'll just stick a pin in a map and see what I find, or head to the docks in the morning and scrounge a berth to find somewhere new. I'd like to see the islands, maybe, or or head south to Arm. I heard there's an enclave of werecats that hunt the followers of dark gods by moonlight. Thanks, Mr. Cr Mr. Scrake. I'd love to see if there's any truth to that. But enough about me. What have you been up to? I feel like the ending was exactly the way it should have ended. An, an absolute uh, mess. <laughs> Uh, I have a confession I may have volunteered you for something. so? And what liberties did you decide to take, exactly? I was hoping you might like a new companion. Rather large, feathered, well-mannered, mostly. The owlbear. Of course I'll have him. If he wants to come with me, that is. I'd have offered sooner, but everything was a blur after the battle. I thought he'd gone to roam free. Are you sure he'd want to join? I'm not exactly settled anywhere right now. It could be dangerous at times. Uh, hardly anything new for either of you. He'll love it, I'm sure. All right, then. It's settled. Oh, the things we'll get up to. That is that is a happy ending right there. Don't be a stranger. I, I could not be much stranger. Now, let me fly over here. <sighs> Alright, and you talk to the owl bear and Happy. give him pets. Gonna get pets. Gonna play. Gonna live with nice lady. Pet him. <laughs> yes, that is critically important. Yes. Miss this. More. He said more, so I have to do it. I'm honor bound. I'm gonna spend the next six hours just petting the owl bear. Yes, miss this more. Okay, one more time, but then I gotta stop. I have I have other people to talk to. Yes. Miss this. Okay. More. Now it's now it's repeating itself. Wait, it says it continue? I didn't have a choice not to. Wait, do you see that? There was literally no leave option. Yes. Miss this. More. There we go. All right, Volo, what do you have to say for yourself? Ah, my dear friend, it's been an age, has it not? You're looking, um, well. Our skeletal friend will be very pleased to see I found my way here, despite my invitation getting lost in the post. Yeah. It's wonderful to see you, Volo. How have you Busy been? Busy as ever. Better that than the reverse, wouldn't you say? Every major publishing house on the Sword Coast has been vying for my upcoming book on the subject of our adventures together. I've gotten quite good at replicating your signature, so you needn't even bother with the release form. Thanks, Volo. You might help me with the title, though. I'm considering the hero and me. What do you think? Uh, do you think your readers will believe a mind flayer could be a hero? Uh, hmm. Can you, uh, you can do better, can't you? Yeah. The hero and I know. I like it. You can do uh, better. Terribly sorry, but you mistake me, my friend. I'm only accepting complimentary feedback at this time. That's Volo for you. Perhaps, once the manuscript is finished, you'd even be willing to write a foreword? Or better yet, 
I'll write a draft, and you can just sign your name. Better still, I'll sign it for you. Hmm? Ah, your success really has been wonderful for my reputation. But you mustn't let me hog your attention all night, my friend. You've many friends to chat to, and I'd love to listen in. I do have a lot of people to talk to. Alright, next on the docket, Jahira. Oh, can I? I can talk to Jahira, alright. Well, now, you can make yourself presentable when you have a mind to. Your higher form has brought with it some higher manners, then. I've learned a lot since last we met. Uh, what kind of a greeting is that? I missed you too, Jahira. <laughs> ah, how nice to be understood again. I have spent the past months bickering with builders and bankers, all to restore the city exactly as it was. Same twisting alleys for purse pickers. Same wooden buildings ready to get burnt by next year's dragon. Same cisterns overflowing. Huh. I heard that the upper city was destroyed beyond reconstruction. Uh, the upper city has been almost entirely rebuilt. That's where the gold is. Even the builder's scaffolds are cleared from the streets. No dust left to sneeze at. Baldurians simply... Get on with it. <laughs> Stubbornness. Civic spirit. Plain stupidity. Perhaps all three. But nothing I will sniff at any longer. Harpers have come from half the world over to lend aid. Farmers, masons, healers. My own son, Jord, has been wooed to their ranks. Already he plans crop cycles in Worms Crossing. Not so for my daughter. Ryan's rejoined the Flaming Fist. Temporarily, you understand. To organize the craftsmen. Though she spends more time locking up comrades for pocketing eight ones. They might learn a thing or two if they don't expel her. Again. And what about you? What have you been up to? Honestly? Much more sitting down than I'd like. Mistake me not. There is still much to be done. Plans to make, maps to be frowned over. But my children are more than capable of doing it. Even the young ones tire of me peeking over their shoulders. This night offers them a brief respite from me, at least. And this place, now I look at it, it is where you all spent your first night together, no? A fine spot for an adventure to begin. A fine spot indeed. A fine spot indeed. Do you have an adventure in mind? Just a little wonder, perhaps, to stretch the legs. She's abandoning her I'll kids again. I'll find my way back, as I always do. I admit defeat. Baldur's Gate is my home. But that is the thing about home. The only way to see it clearly is to leave and look back. For a little while, at least. But, um, should a mother wish to know how her children are faring? Not worrying, mind, only wondering. Perhaps you might write and tell me of them. And of you, too. Only if you promise to write back. Wait, I'll do more than that? I'd like to join the Harpers myself, if you'll have me? Sure, why not? The Harpers welcome any into their ranks, so long as their soul is willing. You've proven you have one. Mind flare or no. Sure, I'll be a Harper. I have lived many lives. It is only right you be allowed to live another. Take this. Harper pen. I have like seven of them in my stash. Thanks, Jahira. Awful nails. Ugh. There is, um, 
Usually a ceremony. Reciting of odds, singing of songs. I'm sure we'll get to all of that as the drinks flow. For now, I give you only the most simple Harper Creed. To look for the light and watch always for the dawn. But to enjoy the night while we have it. Huh? Fair enough. Now, before this night grows any deeper, I must inspect the refreshments. You'll never know. Some ne'er do well might have tampered with the wine. All this stimulating conversation leaves you hungry. To speak is not enough. You wish to explore the brain of your friend with your beak. Weary Jahira. Over time, her stresses may have shrunk her hippocampus, making its taste more intense. Trade with her. I could buy her underwear. Okay. Glad I checked. Uh, constitution. I have no inspirations left. Nice. Good deal. This is highly illogical. There are plenty of other craniums awaiting your section. And this is a prize ally. And besides, this brain before you, its endorphins are in a joyous flow. It is a wonderful scent. The odor of friendship. Yeah, I don't have any money. I also can't see the the brocade ensemble that I'm wearing, which is annoying. Looks like Halson's drunk. Reunited with friends amidst nature. <laughs> let's get let's get Carlac taken care of. Oh shit! Oh my God! He wasn't kidding. With us, you mad bastard! You brought me back, soldier. It's really you. Oh, I've missed you, man. Like, I've really missed you. And you're so... tentacly. <laughs> Mucus membranes are self-cleaning. Thank you for noticing. I missed you, too. <laughs> I'd say so. Can't think of who's been carrying your pack now that Kay's out of commission. Man, we had some good times. Wish Will and I had more time to reminisce, but... Surviving Avernus is just non-stop. <laughs> Still, having him there has been incredible. <laughs> you really can get through anything with someone you love at your side. Oh, but hey, guess what we found? Cambion dropped a map with directions and blueprints for Zariel's own private forge. A fucking forge! Our current plan is to get in, grab a smith, and force him to fix old Rusty. Or maybe give me a brand new model that can live outside of Avernus. You haven't seen the last of old Karlak yet, soldier. Good deal. If anyone can survive Avernus twice, Couldn't it's you. I have said it better myself. Keep a bottle of something good in the icebox for me, huh? Mama Kay's coming home before too long. Can I look you up when I'm out? You'd better or I'll hunt you down hey, myself. That would be kind of fun, though. High stakes hide and seek. <laughs> Honestly, I'd be curious to see if you could land a blow or two. Guards, is it good to see you again? To be here together. Hard not to get used to it all over again. This won't be the last time. I promise. I wish I hadn't turned into a mind flare. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, who's next on the list? Who's this dude? Mill? Maybe we do fly up here and just eat his brains? He's like a random dude. I will. Oh. On my yeah. own, though. Let me guess. You've got some suggestions about the music choice. 
<laughs> bard, tough gig? You were a bard, were you? Back before you became so tentacular. Tentacular. Withers couldn't even find a bard who knows who I am. I know exactly who you are. It's such an honor. Bloody right! It is an honor! Deep down, I knew you'd recognize me. You're a fellow bard, after all. <laughs> what can I do you for? <laughs> I'd like you to change the song. <laughs> Your wish is my... etc. What song do you want? Let's see. Uh, something I've never heard before. Thank Fantastic idea. It'll suit the whole affair perfectly. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Anything I fear. There's Will. Talk there to Will. You are my friend. Will's armor Green looks stupid. Deep. Can you smell it? Nature. Nature check. Gotcha. A seat that's been clogging my lungs. I swear, Karlak and I have felled enough Cambians to build a fortress with their horns. Who would have thought that just I would have one collected of those, all of those horns. held the key to escaping Avernus for good? One of them sported a map and some blueprints. If you want all the gory details, Karlak can fill you in. How have you been faring without your warlock powers? Have you had any time to visit your father, or... Your pleasure to be I've around. I've missed you too. The rush of battles we fought, the heart to hearts, the nights around the fire, the comfort of knowing I didn't face the unknown alone. If I had to do it all over again, and I'd rather not, to be clear, I can't imagine not having you at my side. That's enough on Will. Well, we don't care too much about. Talk for the moment. The night's young. You shouldn't go wasting it. Or wasting any of the wine, for that matter. I plan on downing half a bottle myself. Oh, did I say half a bottle? I meant half a dozen. Nice. Perhaps the bard knows some of my favorites. Unless All right, we got... We got Minsk to do. We got Gale over here. We got Carlax Astral... Or, excuse me, uh, Lazel's Astral pro Projection. Let's do Minsk, though. Wait, a keen eye we are not dreaming. It is our old friend. It's good to see you too, Minsk. Oh, and it is good to be seen. Oh, after so many days down in the dark, Minsk began to wonder if he was some blind bug who had only dreamed himself to be large and bulksome. You will forgive the aroma, I hope. We were not expecting the dusty one to open a portal to our very cell. He was in prison? Oh, had a moment to lick himself clean, but there is a little too much of Minsk to cover. You were in a cell? What for? Minsk and Boo have been helping, of course. We guard the streets while Jahira is occupied with harperish matters. The Zentarum rule the city's underbelly. So Minsk and Boo went to give them a tickle. There were harsh words, battle cries, some manner of uh, head wound. We awoke in a Zentish cell, awaiting trial by noble combat. <laughs> uh, execution, says Boo, though I, I am not sure of the difference. <laughs> It is a long walk to the gallows. Have a good one and in Lustrous. Minsk still has his fists, no? Have a good one. Sounds like Wizard Wizard Wither's got you out just in time. time indeed. So long as the Bone Mage returns us to our cell by dawn, who would not be late to the bloodshed. But leave such matters for the morn. 
Tonight is for celebration and the telling of tales. How have you filled your days since we tore this sticky tyrant from the sky? Is there a different Minsk ending other than this one? On other endings, he got himself a friend. Ah. Honestly, I'm missing no, you all. No, my friend, it is not yet time for tears and passing boo around for the wiping of eyes. There is much merriment to be made before the night is done. Go and greet the others. Minsk shall make himself presentable. I seriously ah, doubt this that. This pond shall do nicely, boo. Though I see no soap. So you shall have to blow the bubbles for me. It's extremely Minskian. Alright. I wish it could last forever. You made it! <laughs> now the revelry can truly begin. Alright, so it's we got Halson, we got Asterian, Lazel, and then that. You would think someone of my vintage would be inured to the passage of time. Yet these past six months have seemed endless without your company. But now, our paths cross once more. Feeling is mutual, I've missed you. We have all pined for each other's company, I sense. I cannot imagine otherwise after what we shared. That bond was forged in a crucible that can never be stoked again, Oak Father willing. It is a bond that can weather any distance, any passage of time. I know it can. For I feel the longing for old friends in my heart each day. Sounds like you need a hug. I always do. Should I ever decline, assume a doppelganger has taken my place. Tentacle hugs. <laughs> we are the worst. <laughs> That was more than worth the wait. You can say that again. That was more than worth the wait? No, oh, I suppose you didn't mean that literally. Correct. Now, we have much to catch up on. Do not allow me to ramble on. I am eager to hear all you've been doing. You first. In that case, very well. Our community grows rapidly. In six months, we have turned what was once a shadowy wasteland into a true home for all. In another six months, I would wager the scars of the past will be entirely invisible, even to those who remember them. The old masonry of Moonrise Towers and Rythwin have been repurposed into new homes. And the land is rich with harvests and bountiful trees. Nature and civilization are in harmony. Stronger together. I feel like I should have made this uh, this stream two streams. <laughs> Sounds wonderful. It is, truly. Though a more complex, evolving beast than I could ever have anticipated. I spoke often of balance before. Only now do I realize the balance is no simple, fixed thing. We welcome folk from all walks of life. Anyone who wishes for a new start. Naturally, it can be chaotic at times, but it is a thrilling sort of chaos. It thrives in ways I could never have dreamed of. I'm glad you're happy. As am I. I may age more slowly than most, but... I do believe I've gained some new laughter lines of late. Now, please, tell me all, and spare no details. I shall not lie. I have an ulterior motive in wishing to hear all. It is the children, you see. My charges. Their appetite for bedtime tales is greater than I could ever have anticipated. Another story, Daddy Halsin. Another is the chorus that greets me each nightfall. They have all but exhausted my repertoire in but a few short months. No mean feat given the lifetime I have lived. I desperately need <laughs> new material, please. My reputation is at stake. I 
Had I known bedtime tales were possible, I would have sought you out of camp. You had asked to be tucked in next, but whatever the intrepid adventurer needed, I would have been glad to provide. All right, I think we're I think we're good with Halson. Well, some of the people. All right, on to the the well. Actually, ordering wise, I think I want to do Asterion and Lazel last. So let's do Gale. I don't care too much hey, about him. Goodness, was Faerun always so dull? Still, at least the company was worth the trip, if not the view. So you did it. You became a god. I told you I would, didn't I? I imagine you're wondering how all this came to be. The finer points of divine ascension are beyond mortal comprehension. I'm Never afraid, change, Gale. I can provide a rudimentary sequence of events. First, I retrieved the crown of Carsus and reforged it using a series of precise and highly complex Netherese incantations. Then, I used it. Wow. As you know, the orb within me was the half-formed Carsite Weaver. Magic left incomplete by Carsus' self-destruction. I finished it. Using the crown of Carsus, I turned it into a new form of magic, fused with my being, driven by my purpose. And then I put it to work. As expected, Mistra was unwilling to hand over the reins of the weave, so... I've claimed dominion over another area which I've... passing familiarity. Ambition. What does the god of ambition offer to his followers? If that's the criteria for choosing a domain, you should be the god of wasting valuable loot. I offer them nothing. I inspire them to seize their destinies for themselves. Great as the heights I've reached thus far may be, I've not forgotten my humble origins. In fact, they're central to my doctrine. Those drawn to the Galarian Creator merely seek my guidance as the impressive, all-powerful being I've become. Ambition is about beginnings. It's not just about the heights, but the lows that preceded them. I was nothing. A drifting dust mote of a wizard, abandoned by my goddess, my powers lost, my reputation destroyed. And look at me now. I'm the Silver their Surfer. Proof. Oh, sorry. Proof their hopes are not barren wastes, but the loamy soil in which their future achievements will flourish. Proof that with ambition, anything is possible. I understand a new type of ambition has grown within me in these last months. Uh, Illidform is powerful. Uh... Interesting. So you help mortals help themselves. Sure. Precisely. Though that isn't to say I'm averse to the odd bit of direct encouragement. A whisper in the ear of a struggling artisan. A breeze to flutter the pages of a tome before a frustrated mage. A magical weapon stumbled upon by a desperate would-be hero. I am ambition incarnate. As indistinguishable from that most potent sensation as Mistra herself is from the weave. And word is spreading. Cool. There are already several shrines in my honor <laughs> scattered across the outer reaches of Thay, and rumors of a very prominent temple under construction in Arm. This is only the beginning. What can I say, Gail? I'm impressed. I thought you would be. Now, divine as my company undoubtedly is, I have an eternity to catch up with you. A luxury few others at this party possess. Don't let me deprive them of your company. Or mine, for that matter. It's not every day a newborn god shows up to the reunion. <laughs> hmm. I... To be a god I loved men. I loved the very like beginning of the game when the world kind of opens up right after the Nautiloid. 
I think that, that like that really like captured my imagination and, and you know just felt very uh, very exciting. Also there's a clothing chest over here. So at the end of the game you get every single pair, but I can't wear anything because I'm a freaking illithid. Talk to Tressum. Well there he is. Gail in all his glory. I hope you're happy. The god of ambition. Have you ever heard anything more ridiculous? I think it'll make an excellent addition to ambition, the Ambition, aspiration, greed, and hubris is all I hear. The Gale I knew wasn't like this. He recognized his mistakes. He was contrite. All he wanted to do was live. Unfortunately, he fell into company that turned his gaze toward foolishness. Quest. Yes, I hmm. mean you. So I, I think my favorite, my favorite camp companion was probably Shadowheart. And I really, really loved, I mean, you know, I really liked the Minx, Minx quest. I, I think that was really good. Like for 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 storyline, I love Jahira and and seeking out uh, Minx and the whole deal. I think that was great. He wanted to ascend. He did it. I'm happy and for you're him. Just as mad as he. I am. I know there's nothing you could have done to stop him. Not really. Once he decided to learn nothing from his mistakes, what use were either of our protests? Perhaps you'd be willing to come meet Gail's mother sometime? She misses him so. And I know it would do her heart a world of good to discuss her son with someone who knew him as he was. Sure. As long as this visit from a mind flare wouldn't frighten her, I'd love to. Jolly good. I'll tell Mrs. Dakarios to be expecting you. Oh, she'll be delighted. Things just haven't been the same without himself cluttering up the place. Cool. Enjoy your party, dear. I've heard you quite deserve a celebration. Okay. It's Asterion and then it's Lazelle. It smells so good here. Guess I have to walk. Can't get rid of the necromancy of Thay, though. What can I say? He just threw a dagger into the ground. How curious. Well, look who decided to turn up. I wasn't sure our withered old friend could live up to his promise. But here we are. At least I assume it's you in there. It's yes, the answer fight was amazing. <laughs> How have you been since, um... Everything... I've missed our time together. <laughs> well, of course you have, darling. It's not easy to replace someone like this. You're fleeing from the sun. What happened? <laughs> exactly what I feared. Without the protection of our little friends, I was just an ordinary spawn again. Burning in the sun. I fled the dark and found refuge in the shadows until night fell. Part of me was relieved you left so quickly after the battle. I felt ashamed. Like I'd lost everything. Just as you claimed your victory. I didn't want you to see me like that. Mm -hmm. But time lent perspective. It wasn't your victory. It was ours. And for all I'd lost, I'd gained so much more. I had freedom. Strength, a whole new life, and it was time to live it. Good. <laughs> I'm glad. I've taken a turn as an adventurer and hero. <laughs> it turns out no one actually cares about murder, as long as you murder the right people. And apparently I'm rather good at it. That seems extremely accurate. A Syrian, one of the good guys who would have thought. <laughs> Let's not get carried away, darling. I'm still me. Perhaps more me than I've ever been. So what's next for you? <laughs> Hardly. Good people don't spend as much time lurking in the dark as I do. You know, it's funny. At first, 
I thought I was trapped by the shadows, cursed to live in them forever. But in time, I realized that darkness is as much a part of me as my fangs. This is only a curse as long as I refuse to embrace the shadows. So, I decided I would. I decided not to be defined by the choices other people made, by what other people did to me. My past may be done, but my present, my future, they're mine. Beautiful. This is who I am, in all my glory, for better and for worse. I'm glad to hear it. Acceptance looks good on you. That being said, I haven't completely given up on returning to the sun. If the opportunity presented itself, well, I wouldn't say no. But until then, I am happy. We've had quite the journey, you and I. From the moment I first threatened you, I knew you were someone special. Someone to take on the world with. I will miss our time together. But then again, maybe this isn't goodbye. So much as it's, um, see you later, darling. Right on, Asterion. All right, last one. For two months, Orpheus trained me in the ways of the comet. For two more, I skewered Kithraki bellies. And for two more yet, I traveled through Limbo. I never imagined we'd be standing toe to toe on this day, in this place. Nothing but allies, I always told myself. A necessary partnership. But in spite of every strained word, every barbed glance, seeing you brings me even more pleasure than Taking a Royal Inquisitor's head. That is a sad ending, Sam. It's good to see you. It's nice to hear it. It has taken all of Orpheus's efforts to conjure my projection. And all of mine to convince him to let me come. Worth it, I'd say. And I miss this place. This... <sighs> Fay run. Your efforts to topple Vlacketh are well underway then? We've spilled blood, gained a foothold in the astral, but still we need allies. And one beyond reckoning has made itself known. Zerith Minyarangith. Oh, of course. Zerith Minyarangith. What is that? Not a what, but a who. The immortal god king of the Githzerai, an exiled people, once kin with mine, until the madness of civil war ripped our one sky into two. Our Gish sent word of the rebellion to Minyara Gith through the cosmos. He's agreed to parley. It's fallen to me to secure an alliance. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, as they say. Sometimes. But I don't need the Githzerai to fight for us. Just with us. Minyara Gith is an ascetic. He reached out in good faith. This is his way. It is in this spirit that I must meet him. He is also a near deity. Should the Githzerai join us, we could topple the city of death in a red dragon's blink. Yeah, that would be my assumption, refuse, Sam. I carry on. Gravity pulls me in but one direction. I am a warrior of the comet. I will not rest until I burn Vlacket's bones to ash and smash her phylactery to pieces. My people will be free. Chuck. But you've heard that refrain before. Zealous, bossy, insistent. All part and parcel of my undeniable charm. When will I see you again? Soon. When the comet has risen, 
When the Lich Queen has crumbled to dust. I miss this place. More to the point, I miss you. I wouldn't even deny it with Vlacket's vocal blade at my neck. Though, I'd rather it not come to that. Now go. Mingle a bit. That's the word, right? Mingle. I'll be back one day. The Overgod himself couldn't keep me away. Okay. I think with that, we've done it all. We've talked to everyone that needs talking to. Good job, Asterion, doing some, some fine some fine work there. Chest of grateful words. What is this? Official guild letter, letter from Art, letter from Ravengard, Voss, Arabella. We get a thank you note from everyone. Let's just read the Elminster one. We don't need to read them all. You remember the day we first met? You couldn't have been more than eight summers old, clutching your mother's apron. Wherever he is, I hope he can forgive me. To his promise, I will not make the same mistake again. <laughs> mm. uh, this seems pretty red, but... Ugh. No, not even close. All right, well, nothing left to do but interact with the bonfire, I think. Oh, I just put out the bonfire. I mean, I think... Oh, are we just... So, I, I don't know anything about the epilogue. Is there a post-epilogue epilogue, or are we just done? One more companion. Who'd I miss? Some fish heads and a stale loaf of bread just to get by. I did Will Minsk Volo. Go south to Withers. Ah. One more companion indeed. Ah, and a quest marker too to help me out with it. Ooh. This one night is like any other, and yet different thank you thou art the savior of boulder's gate until such time it requires saving again how dost thou feel i'm getting tired i might just go to bed I'm going to say, I think I've caught up with everyone. What comes next? What indeed? Prick up thy ears and listen. The balance of the world restored. The balance of these lives, mortal and otherwise, brought to account. Hear me, thou heroes, wastrels, friends. I have waited long to tell you these words. It is over. It is over. For now. Thou played thy part in weaving the fabric of fate itself. But for every thread you sewed, so did the gods unravel another. Sleep, rest, revel, but be ready, for thou mayst yet be needed. Until we meet again, I wish thee every possible fortune, health, wealth, love, and above all, problems worth solving. To brains without worms and a good night's sleep. To you. <laughs> and there it is. Seramorphosis, all's well that ends well, and 
Leave no one behind. Save every tiefling refugee you can throughout the game in a single playthrough. That's, uh... That's Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, Doppel. You ate Jahira? <laughs> yeah, this was really fun. This was really fun. It's, uh... It, it certainly was not the, uh... The thing that brought people to the channel more than anything else, but... I mean... What a what an incredible game. I'm I'm looking forward to a break from it. You got manhandled by withers. Oh, I mean the game is uh, the game is an easy A in my eyes. It's not, you know, like it's. I I don't know if the replayability is there. I I think I might have been too. I think I might have been too thorough. Honor mode multiplayer, yeah. I you know I I think I was too thorough. Like, I love that about the game, but you know, like I think uh, the nine disintegrate scrolls pretty much. Uh, summed things up like i i spent this single playthrough plus all the time off stream organizing inventory cleaning everything up etc 379 hours now granted i left it open occasionally it wasn't it, that wasn't all 100 percent. you know i would occasionally leave it open and those sorts of things but yeah insanely long playthrough We achieved 36 of the 56 achievements. Let's see. Let's see what ones we did not do. While the credits roll. Kill two birds with one gnome. Use one enemy as an improvised weapon against another. Never did it. In the worm way, wait until the dragon is mid-flight, then knock it out of the sky kapow. Took me 400 hours to finish five playthroughs. First one was the longest, 140 hours. Yeah. It was it was long. I mean, it was wonderful. Defeat Gortash in Works Ro Worm Worms Rock without activating any traps. Complete the game in tactician mode. Ah, doesn't doesn't count because we started out not in tactician mode for the first like four streams. Uh, Jack of all trades, multi class into everyone every class. Yeah, I also did no romance. Punch drunk. Defeat twenty opponents while drunk. Earn 100 gold from playing sweet music in a single playthrough. We did 69 gold. And then Foehammer. Complete the game in honor mode. And there are 10 hidden achievements. But yeah, I mean, this game was beautifully put together. I, I do think that the later portions of it was... Uh, we're a little less complete than the early parts of the game. And that's understandable. Um, with a game of this magnitude, it's it's unbelievable to imagine how complete everything felt. But, you know, like, I, I don't know, some, some things from today. Like, I expected the Ballas Temple to be more. Like a, like a, a proper dungeon. Um... Yeah, I and I thought I think Act One is was just the most magical. Yeah, Act Act Three just opened up and it was too there were too many paths to go and too many things to do. Um It, it and you know like I, I think like like I was saying earlier, like just the, the presence of the sewer was really cool, but I think they should have gated it a little more. Because I just I went into the sewer and I like I feel like I, I headed off a bunch of like talking to people that I was supposed to do, but I was so bored of talking to people because I, I think the first like 
three streams after we joined Act 3 was just like... It was just us talking to people and and like making no progress. Yeah, the, the Goblin Cam questline, I think, was was my favorite, Sam. Like, it was just like, it was this moment where like the magnitude of the world just opened up and you could just like see how big and complex it was. And there were so many options and so many things that could happen. I'm a little sad that, that Minthara hadn't become a... Uh, hadn't become a potential recruit. I think it would have been fun to have uh, to have brought Minthara along. I also think that the Dark Urge playthrough has some some interesting stuff. I, there's so much story that you miss in a single playthrough, but the commitment is so massive. Uh, yeah, and, and you know, I, I think it would be interesting to experiment with more optimal builds, like our. Our builds were very suboptimal. Like, Lazel was just a monster. Asterion was was strong for short fights and pretty weak on longer fights. Uh, I, I For a long time, I wished that I had taken uh, Shadowheart and and just straight up converted her to a, to a wizard, like an ice wizard. I, but I don't think there was enough synergy to make Ice Wizard, like, a, a viable build. As far as, like, Wizard Sorcerer builds go, I don't really know what the deal is with them, but it seems like she was... Like, I used her as, like, a Frost Mage for most of the playthrough and really enjoyed it, because I, I think it's just kind of fun and it made for silly moments and whatever else. Uh, but, but yeah, I don't know. Like, I... I kind of felt like I wanted to kind of commit and play through these builds and it felt bad to kind of constantly be pivoting around i also wish that i had not ceramorphosed in the end i think that was like not the best yeah doppel i i think it's i think it's a smart way to go i just i think i knew from pretty early on that especially on the channel i wasn't going to be able to do another playthrough without it being bad for me <laughs> So I felt like I got one chance. I wanted to do as much as I could. And Anthony Verhegan, thank you for being the head of legal for Baldur's Gate 3. Special shout out to, to the law team. But uh, but yeah, I don't know. Just uh, like an incredible game. And I, I just kind of knew that it was going to be one and done for a while. And lots of things I would have changed. Like, I think I should have probably let the Emperor become the Illithid and, uh, and just done my, done my own thing. I think that would have been smart. But, like, my, my vision of... I was afraid that if the Emperor was the... If, if the Emperor became Illithid, I was worried that that jeopardized Lazel's ending, basically. Yeah. And I, I think I've pretty much seen everything. I, I will say, I completely missed Maul in Act One. That was one of my big one of my big regrets was the absent like I didn't get to do any of like the the, the thief children stuff in Act One. That was uh that was a bummer. I I assume this uh I assume these credits go on for like a half hour or something like that. Maybe that's uh maybe that's that's wrong, but like we're in localizations now. Yeah, I, I mean I didn't want to kill Orpheus regardless regardless because I really wanted to put the screws to Vlacketh. Vlacketh sucked. And I, I just kind of wanted Vlacketh to to get hers in the end. I was a little disappointed that... Like, I, I don't know the lore from Dungeons & Dragons and, like, the D&D &D universe and stuff like that. But I I kind of assumed that, that you know, if, if Gale had enough time to become a god... And it's a little questionable. Part of me thinks that Gale, like, didn't really become a god and he's just like a... Uh, 
wearing some silver body paint, but that's a that's another aside. Um, and still has ambitions of being God. But uh, I would assume that if Gale had time to do that, that Lazel could have done more work on on ousting uh, Vlacketh. And I would have liked that. There's so many localizations here. I'm... I'm definitely cooked. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna give the credits until three thirty, which is six minutes from now, and uh, and if they can't finish in that time, I'm probably gonna have to cut them short. But I'd like to see the end. And if you all have more questions for me or more thoughts about your experiences, I'm happy to talk about them. But I'm also really hungry, <laughs> so. It does feel kind of like a finished game. Like, like I, I don't know about DLC. I oh, this is another, this is another big thing. The the they absolutely should have left the level cap where it was, but allowed multi-classing above the level cap i really think that would have been smart i know there are mods that do that but like it i was i was max level like in the shadowlands now granted i did everything everything which wasn't great but like larian confirmed no dlc incoming really last i had heard i thought they were saying that they weren't done whoa okay that's news to me When you choose the Emperor's side, you fight only the Red Dragon plus the four mirror matches. I did kind of want to kill the Red Dragon. I wish I had killed the Red Dragon. I still find it so hilarious that our entire party died, and then Lazel was able to solo everyone, res our hero, and then still get in there and do it. Like, just goes to show you, like, durable heroes. Oh, fresh info from Larian CEO, like, like, recent recent? Like, this happened, like, today? Yeah, yeah, I, I think I shouldn't have also. Like, I think I could have flown up the left-hand side, uh, moved everyone over there, avoided the tentacles in the middle. Um, yeah, yeah, if anyone has the link to the Larian CEO's statement, I'd love to see that. Oh. That's a great name for a studio, by the way. Fire Without Smoke. Love that. Reddit screenshot Twitter. Let me see this. I'll, I'll see if I can bring it up for everyone here. Let's see. Uh, okay, Wizard of Waterdeep. Larian dodged a bullet. It's not just, and it's not just Wizards of the Coast. This post might be it. Counter expectations, but I've never been more sure about a strategy shift. This is the right thing for Larian. Larian Studios founder Sven has revealed that the developer isn't planning to release any expansions or DLC for Baldur's Gate 3, nor a Baldur's Gate 4. Oh, wow. Okay. So here, I'll... Uh, let, me, let me paste this so that anyone who wants to can, uh, can check it out direct in screenshot form. I'll pop that up there. Um, but yeah, let's... Yeah, so, so let's read the rest of it. So uh, Sven, Sven said, uh, I understand there will be disappointment because people fell in love with what we created, but it was a story with a beginning, a middle, and an end, and doesn't need more. The team has grown a lot during Baldur's Gate 3, and I think you can be very excited for what the growth means for our next game. As for BG3 and its characters, they won't belong to Wizards of the Coast, and I think they understand how important they are for the community. I trust that they'll be treated with respect. 
Oh, they now belong to Wizards of the Coast. Ah, so they sold the Baldur's Gate IP to Wizards of the Coast. Wow. Yeah, the, the Emperor was a little confusing, right? Um, because at the end of the day, he and Orpheus could not coexist. He had been torturing Orpheus, right? So, but the Emperor's like self-preservation angle was always a really weird part of him. I don't know. We're on the P's of the of the sub studios. I'll hang in there for a second, just because I'm I'm still processing this uh, this announcement that that I uh, I have linked up here. I, I don't know, like, as for the, as for BG3 and its characters, they now belong to Wizards of the Coast. So wait, so it's not only the IP, so Larian Studios actually sold Baldur's Gate 3, the game, to Wizards of the Coast. I think him joining makes sense since the brain itself stated that it willingly let go of the emperor. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the the emperor was a stooge, right? He was he was a puppet in the whole like nature of things. Like he he was he was an instrument of the brain's plot. Yeah. I don't know. I, I like, I'm very happy that I chose Orpheus. Uh, of all of the like end game decisions that I made, I think I should have let Orpheus be the, the Illithid and that probably would have been a more optimal ending from my perspective. I'm sure they will, Sam. Voice actors are, are never exclusive to any particular studio, so if Larian had a good time working with them, I'm sure they will. I, I did hear rumors that, like, I think it was Lazelle's voice actor was kind of, like, quick to get all her voice acting lines done type of thing. And, and so, like, there was a little less back and forth tweaking and adjusting some of her story points, um, but I, I don't know if that's entirely true. But yeah, the, the, the Emperor always presented himself as a little more altruistic and always ended up being a little more self-serving, which I thought was interesting. But yeah, I, I think I would have been... But even then, he didn't really have... I mean, the epilogue was added a bit after the game was released. That is true, Sam, yes. So they were called, they were indeed called back to, to record lines. I can't imagine this game... Finishing this game without the epilogue, I think, would have felt terrible. Like, having the end of the game be like Asterion running off, being lit on fire, would have felt horrible. Uh... But so that that's the thing, Mr. Scrake. Like the free will that he was getting from from uh, Orpheus was was an illusion, right? Like he he was still he wasn't like officially being puppeted, but you know he he definitely was was playing a role. No. I mean, he got duped by the Elder Brain. It, it gave him his free will through Orpheus and kind of kept him in prison there in order to, like, get the progression of things to go. How is this possible? We just went through a bunch of, like, individual things and they're still going. Holy cow. Hold on.
Yeah, he thought he was in control and outsmart the Netherbrain, but he didn't. If you bring Gortash with you, the brain will explain more. Bring Gortash with you. Oh my gosh, we're on to interns. Uh, that is very interesting. Please tell me the interns are the last part here. <laughs> I'm dying, Smalls. If you ally with... Uh, yeah, I, I never even considered allying with any of the big bads. Playtesters chosen by the absolute. All right. But yeah, I I think I think if I were if I were a betting man before I saw this post by the Larian Studio CEO, I would have assumed no DLC, but maybe a chance of a Baldur's Gate four, just because I think this was such a like, it's such an iconic IP. You know, I mean, how many how many years did we wait between two and three? Oh, by the way, if you like J.K. Simmons and you have not watched uh, Counterpart, which is a uh, TV show that stars J.K. Simmons, go watch it right now. It is one of the best shows that I've watched in a long time. Blew me away. Sasha and I watched it not that long ago, and it was good. All right, we're only in the seas. I think, thank you, playtesters, but I think I, I have officially finished. There thou art, the dead three. Thy faces, gods. Thy actions, barely worthy of the name. Didst truly believe thy ploy would succeed? Didst believe I would not notice? Who are you, Withers? Thou to bolster thy strength by taking away the souls of mortals. But souls vanish when their hosts become mind flayers. Didst think the other gods would not notice? Gods thou may be. Yet thou hast proven thyself fools, everyone. The supplication of Bane, the whimper of Baal. I would, Sam, it's very good. The death mule of Merkel, felled by mortals. I overestimated thee. They did not. Vermin? Away. Thou wilt trouble us no more. Who were you, Withers? Who were you, Withers? I guess we'll never know. And I'm sorry, playtesters, that I didn't look at all of you, but I, uh, I'm tired. And that's it. Thank you, Baldur's Gate 3. Sleep well, sweet prince. <laughs> All right. All right, so let's see. Uh, it's, not, it's not easy allying with the bads. You have to do some pretty stinky things. Yeah, for sure. So which one did you like the most? Orin, Gortash, or Kethric? Kethric, by far. Kethric was amazing. Easy, easy choice. Easy choice. All right. I think that does it for the week for us. I don't know. We're going we're gonna to move things around. We're going to play more of the games we're playing. We may pick up some new games. I, I really don't know. If you have strong opinions, join the Discord to tell me all about them. Here are our links. Website, Discord, all the things. Uh-oh. Are the, is the is the bot working? Yeah, it's working. It'll just take a second. Uh, XCOM Long War 2. I'd love that. Baldur's Gate 1. I played it when it came out. 
But uh, but yeah, would uh, would love to have all of you join us for whatever our future adventures are, and uh, and who knows, in a little while maybe uh, maybe my desire to return to uh, Baldur's Gate three will uh, will return and we'll we'll decide to try some different content around it. But uh, but yeah, thank you to everybody who hung out and watched, etc. Have a wonderful weekend, and uh, I will see you all next time. Take it easy. Uh, keep me updated on what you're all up to, and if there are things you want to see fill this Friday slot, let me know. All right? But for now, I'm Audi 9000.